Free Talk Live. Welcome to the program. Dial in toll free and bring up anything you'd like. 855 450 free. That is the toll free number. Joining you in studio, you've got me, Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. And don't forget to join us via Skype if you prefer. I would prefer if you've got Skype. Call us that way. Skype usernames lrn.fm. All you have to do to join us via Skype is just send a quick contact request over. We'll approve it as soon as we notice it come through. And then after that, it'll be easy for you to call on Skype anytime that you darn well please. So uh, plenty of stuff to talk about tonight, including what is a disturbing story from your world, Chris Cantwell. Uh, you are a blogger and a, uh, a podcast host. You host Some Garbage Podcast. Yep. Uh, you've recently become a political I'm gadfly. The, I don't I'm know. What's, the what's anarcho-lobbyist, the, man. What's, I, <laughs> what's the right word for what we do up there? Lo- it's, it's not lobbying. lobbying because we're not getting paid to do it. Well, I get a little bit of advertising revenue. People have been willing to donate a couple of bucks over the uh, the anarcho lobbyist series. So, does I mean, that make you a lobbyist, though? Because if so, then you'll have to go and register and get yourself an orange tag to wear around the state house. I don't know how that works. Like, Me I'm not I'm not getting paid by an agency. I go do this, and then I make videos, and people contribute money for the videos, right? So I'm not yeah, I'm not being mean? paid to lobby on behalf of a cause, but I'm calling it anarcho lobbyist because I basically go in there and talk to these people without trying to pretend I'm something else, right? Instead sure. of going in there and being like, oh, I think that we need more reasonable regulations around this subject. <laughs> I'm like, repeal all drug laws. You're an idiot. You can't do this. You don't call them idiots. No, but, you I know, don't. in so sh- many words. Right. Um, and, and I'm with you, man. I've been doing this stuff for a long time. We talked about it in a little more detail last night. So if you want to go grab that show, go to freetalklive.com. You can grab up the archives there. Plus, Chris, you've been uh, chopping up all kinds of videos. So if you want to actually see us in action uh, at the State House, you can go to ChristopherCantwell.com and you've been putting together various different uh, clips of keen liberty activists going to Concord. We're going back tomorrow for several more bills. I don't even, half the time, I don't even know what we're going for. I just look at yeah. the schedule before we show up and, oh, yeah, let's go talk on this, this, and this. I'll tell you what, though, I got to make sure I'm better prepared. I got swindled the other day. What do you mean? So Max Abramson's bill that was uh, – he had a bill redefining uh, deadly force. Mm. And I went in there, and some of the uh, – uh, one of the guys from Concord was up there. One of our people was up there talking in favor of the bill, and the and the legislators up there were – contradicting the bill they're saying well if you redefine deadly force to mean this limited narrow thing well then you won't be able to respond with deadly force so so max's thing struck so he didn't out think it through so max's bill strikes out this whole thing about like shooting at a vehicle or shooting in a general direction of somebody right okay. and what the legislators were saying is that if you say that that's not deadly force shooting at someone's vehicle that means that i can't shoot back at somebody shooting at my vehicle and i said whoa wait a second that seems like a pretty bad mistake and i spoke against max's bill mm-hmm. and i talked to max on facebook afterwards and i was like look i'm sorry about that but this is why i did it and he's like no they tricked you and he pointed out the self-defense statute and the self-defense really? statute is about to use so if i believe that someone is about to use force against me that could cause serious bodily injury then i can respond with deadly force under new hampshire law so he didn't screw it up is what he didn't saying. screw it up the legislators were screwing it up and i was like wow i'm sorry i'm like how do i fix this and, and you i didn't said to know because e- it was another part of the statutes exactly and all that. so i emailed the committee and i cc'd max and i was like look this is a you guys confused me i'll be better prepared next time you had another interesting moment something we didn't talk about yesterday and mark you never really get up to the state house very often like maybe once a year or yeah something about like once that. a year probably i make it um so i don't know how much experience you have with stuff like this happening but it's now happened to chris on more than one occasion and it was pretty shocking for you the first time, um, but we were actually sitting in a uh, uh, in the cafeteria, which in the New Hampshire State House, the politicians and us little people, we all eat together in the same uh, room. I don't know if that happens in other state houses. I I doubt it, but uh, it seems like there's a little more. Uh, you, you can be a little more personable with the the people at these state houses. Certainly, they uh, they seem to be more down to earth. I was in the bathroom and uh, this guy was standing at the urinal next to me and he rips out a fart, <laughs> and you know we both kind of chuckled. And he goes, "Well, he says excuse me." I'm like, "It's totally fine." He's like, "Well, you know, I guess this is the appropriate place for it." And then later. 
later, he makes makes a comment about how much hot air they have at the state house. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just kind of nice, you know, to have self-deprecating state representatives yeah. in this particular case. But what happened was there were two state reps who came up. We we're just sitting there eating our lunch. A Republican and a Democrat. Right. These two state reps come up after we had testified. This It wasn't on jury nullification. It was the, That was uh, on asset forfeiture. Right. The civil asset forfeiture. There's a proposal to severely limit the government's ability to do a- asset forfeiture, which is I criminalize it as it were. This is a Dick Marble bill, and he right. wants to make it. He just says <laughs> you will go to prison if you engage in civil asset forfeiture. <laughs> I love Dick Marble, and I love that he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. and I love that a guy like that can get uh, elected up here as well. But these two folks who I hadn't seen noticed ever before today, uh, I don't even know if I'd ever testified before that particular committee. But they come up and they kind of introduce themselves to you and they start talking to you about your position on the bill and kind of they they like what you had to say about asset forfeiture and they uh, and they were both of different parties and there were, you know one guy was like well if I agree with her on something you can really tell something's wrong here yeah and the guy had apparently looked me up and visited my website before <laughs> he came down to the cafeteria too so he had seen the headline of my website so he knew you were an anarchist yeah so now we've got a Republican a Democrat and an anarchist all agreeing on a problem <laughs> they're like yeah that means there's something wrong here and and uh, the guy's the rep's name was Greg Smith. And he is, uh, he uh, apparently was, I was just looking into him today. He had given Mm -hmm. us the card and I was about to send him an email, but I want to figure out who he was. So I looked him up and he appears to be a pretty moderate Republican guy who was elected in 2014. And, uh, and so I, I fired off an email to him today. It was like, Hey, you know, thanks for taking, listening and taking the issue seriously. It's a pretty big problem. If there's anything I can do to help keep it on the front burner, let me know. So I just thought that was a cool thing because, it, you know, it was kind of it happened again where these politicians uh, actually took time out of their schedule to which is fairly busy. I mean, these are busy people. They only get paid 100 bucks a year here in New Hampshire to do this. And they thought what Chris said was important enough to stop and chat with him in the lunchroom. You know? That's awesome. You don't. I don't think that happens in in other places. Certainly, never happened in in New York. And I mean, I didn't spend a great deal of time in Albany, the state capital. Yeah. I wasn't up there trying to you know lobby legislators or anything like that. But uh, you know, I talked to state reps. I talked to my congressman. I was involved in the Tea Party. And look, these guys when they were running for office, they'd come speak in front of your organization and sort of pander to you. And that's it. But yeah. that's about it. Once they're done trying to solicit contributions and gain activists to go gather ballot signatures and stuff like that they they go back into hiding i can remember being in florida and trying to contact some of the state reps or whatever about i don't even remember what the issue would have been but trying to contact them and just getting form letters and talking to office staff and you never actually (laughs) get to reach these individuals in most places they're too high and mighty too self-important and they don't want to talk to you well what you're saying here is is that new hampshire's unique and it is 49 states in the federal government have loyal your industrial complexes that run their state house. Um, you can say what you want about that, but that's the reality. In New Hampshire, yeah. it's different. In New Hampshire, it's regular folks, mostly older folks, I would say, um, if I had to make a guess, because they've got the time. But ideological geriatrics is what I like to uh, refer to the <laughs> as, and that's fine by me because uh, you know they don't have the they don't have the same the, the idea that you take a bunch of people from one one. Uh, uh, career line and expect things to go well and make you know, make them all legislators and th- expect things to go well is ridiculous to me this it's not the way things were meant to be certainly and i and i and what i find interesting about it here is that these guys on both sides right i mean there are radical leftists that seem to have been elected in new hampshire hence the 16 dollar yeah. minimum wage proposal so some of these people i would absolutely consider my mortal enemies but at the same time i do kind of like that these people are willing to take positions on issues. One of the problems that I found in New York was that everything that they did, it seemed to be some kind of mental polling exercise that they were just trying to find out what was the right thing to say. Sticking their finger, licking the finger, sticking it up in the air, seeing which way the political wind is exactly. blowing. And, you know, I come from a place where the Republican Party wants to take your guns as a result. <laughs> and so it, this was a situation yeah. where I'm I'm watching a, a, a real situation where there are people arguing between no minimum wage and 16 an hour minimum wage is the debate. And I'm just like, this is amazing. Just radicals on both sides of an issue. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Coming up, 
A 90-year-old woman has her home raided by the police. What did they find? We'll let you know. It's Free Talk Live, 855-450, free. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. For deals on the latest hardwood flooring trends, get to Lumber Liquidators. Don't settle for the stuff at the big box stores. We've got all the hottest flooring styles for less, like the timeless look of real oak. This week, get pre-finished oak hardwood for less than you'd pay for laminate at other stores. Now, it's an incredible 99 cents. Or get three-quarter inch solid pre-finished red oak for $2.59. Plus, it's your last chance to save $500 on Bellawood. Get deals on bamboo, laminates, and more from 49 cents. And special financing. Don't miss this season's hottest hardwood deals. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Three-year-old child lost his arm after being viciously attacked by a pit bull terrier earlier this month. Gosh. Now the incident has moved a state lawmaker to author legislation that will effectively ban the pit bull breed in the entire state of Oklahoma. Wow. Wouldn't um, all of uh, Mr. Wesselhoff's constituents be a little safer if, if we all just couldn't have any dogs at all? That's true. It would guarantee that no one yeah. would uh, be bitten by dogs. Right. And then and no what cats. What about cats? They scratch people. They, sc they sc do scratch people. And, it, you know, it, it, it leaves a nasty infection. It could. Certainly. It, it certainly. We should ban infections, too, while mm -hmm. we're at it. I mean, it, while we're protecting everyone from everything. Birds can carry the flu. We know yep. that. You know, so. we should just exterminate all, all animals with teeth. <laughs> well, forget the teeth. <laughs> the birds have no teeth. I say we kill them all. Uh, just every animal. Yeah. Okay. What about insects? You could just sign a law that bans mosquitoes. <laughs> That'd be great. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. We are back with more Free Talk Live. Plenty of time for you to dial in toll-free, 855-453. That is the number, and uh, you can call in about anything that happens to be on your mind. On the way, a disturbing piece of news from the world of Chris Cantwell Regarding one of your fans, Chris, it's uh, pretty sad stuff. We'll get into that here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE+. Plus, we've got, uh, Chris, you've got, a, I guess, an excerpt from Barack Obama talking about some new plan to crack down on extremists. Yeah, and propagandists. 
So we'll come back with uh, with some of those things here. Also, want to invite you to freetalklive.com where you can enjoy all kinds of cool features. We give it all away. You get to actually create the content there on the front page of the website. So please do enjoy. Uh, you get to submit whatever you want, maybe a YouTube video, a news article, or blog post, for instance. Just send that on over. Uh, you upload it there at freetalk, freetalklive.com. Other listeners can vote it up or vote it down, depending on whether they like or dislike. It's all free. Sorry, I, I don't Hi, have Mark. I have no uh, copy to read right now. I was busy listening to the music, man. Oh, that's nice music. You're, you're pointing. Why don't at me. you tell me about uh, coffee? No, no, I've got uh, the the Texas Bitcoin Conference here. Uh, Texas Bitcoin Conference going on downtown Austin, March the 28th and 29th. Uh, there's going to be great keynote speakers there. George Gilder, uh, who the guy who created basically created Reaganomics and uh, IBM's architect of their blockchain technology, Adept. Sambala Nair, he'll be flying in from India. Uh, David Johnston, who's the guy who's helped putting putting together the second annual Million Dollar Bitcoin 2.0 Hackathon. I think that's probably the most important event going on at this point in the whole sphere of Bitcoin, because these are, uh, you know, it's it's a fun it's funding for some of the the best most exciting ideas around Bitcoin. And this is the reason I believe Bitcoin is still a good investment and is going to make it and be something. Is, is There's so many smart people putting so much effort into this technology. They see it for what, the, you know, they see something of value there. And that's why I believe in it. TexasBitcoinConference.com. If you are just a Bitcoin beginner or you know a great deal about it, please join us, Austin, uh, in Austin on uh, March the 28th and 29th, the Moody Theater downtown. Get your tickets for 150 bucks. Use coupon code FTL. Take $25 off. And 25 bucks out of that 125 that's left will be donated to Sean's Outpost. So it's it's really a great deal. For this two-day event, basically you're paying 100 bucks and uh, giving a $25 donation to Sean's Outpost to help feed hungry people. So TexasBitcoinConference.com. We had a blast last year. We're going to have a great time again this year. TexasBitcoinConference.com. Do we ever figure out what the deal was with Charlie Shrem? Whether he's going to be there? Whether or not he's going to be there, yeah, his I don't pictures, know. The, his picture's up on the website. <laughs> Who knows? Could I, I released the clip when we were talking about that, and uh, I said, how is he supposed to be there? He's going to be in prison. And I was like, yeah, we'll have Ross Ulbricht, Easter Bunny, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I released the clip of that, as, and I just put it out as a title, as Te Texas Bitcoin Conference, and they actually retweeted it. I don't know if they That's watched awesome. the video first. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know how they're going to pull that one off, but I know that when uh, Rich Paul was in jail, they did have a video conferencing option from home, so you know, maybe the, maybe the Fed... Fred possible maybe yeah. minimum security fed prison has something like that i, I really don't know um, so anyway our toll-free number here is 855-450 free i've got some disturbing bitcoin related news on the way here uh, but first we got matthew he's in maryland matthew you're on with ian chris and mark on free hey, talk I, live hey you? matthew go ahead with your thoughts um i just uh, wondered what you guys thought about like um jury duty and like trying to like not do that um like in my life i've got a few notifications but have never really responded and not have problems but i just wonder what you thought about that you're I, asking what we think about not going to jury duty yes yeah i would go ahead and say that you should probably do it i mean look if you're a listener of this program then i imagine that you're going to make a better juror than most of the people who are going to get called i don't appreciate that the government threatens people to get them into jury duty sure, it's a i draft. think that that's an awful thing that they do uh, it is. I think it's usually unenforceable. I was once called to be on a jury, and I was threatened with prosecution if I didn't show up. And mm -hmm. I was like, "Put it where the sun don't shine," and just ignored it. And they sent me a bunch of threatening letters, and I never did anything, and, and they never it. came after me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but, it's not hard to get out of. You could also show up and just tell them that you're an anarchist or something like that, and that you, you know, hate the police. Yeah, and that'll get you disqualified <laughs> oh, right I, away. I could tell you if you just walk in and say that I believe in the thousand-year right of juries to null. <laughs> the law the, yeah, that, that's it you. you'll be done <laughs> uh, but but i also I agree with chris i mean if you if you love freedom and i'm presuming you do because you've taken the time to call free talk live although that's not always an indicator of it uh, but if you actually care about freedom then you should try to get on a jury you should learn about jury nullification which is your right as a juror to vote based on your conscience and not what the law says 
uh, this is an important right, and we actually spend a lot of time here in New Hampshire uh, trying, some of us spend time trying to educate people about this right. In fact, Chris, you and I were at the State House the other day actually testifying in favor of a what is an excellent jury nullification bill that will actually enshrine jury nullification even further uh, into state law here. And this is your opportunity to save someone from prison. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's possible you might get on a jury of an actual violent criminal as well. So, you know, you may end, end up having to put somebody in prison if they actually deserve it. Uh, but if it's somebody who's a victimless criminal, someone who's sold some drugs or possessed some drugs or was a prostitute or, you know, whatever the victimless crime is, ran a gambling ring, uh, smuggled some guns, then you could vote not guilty just based on your conscience. And even if you're just one person, you can be enough to hang the jury and you may be able to convince the other jurors to go with you. It's happened before. Uh, uh, Kathleen Converse, she's an early mover for the Free State Project. Uh, you should look her up because she actually, one lady, flipped the entire jury that she was sitting on. She was on a case for a man who was accused of, and did, grow marijuana plants. He was growing sev several marijuana plants. He was a uh, Rastafarian. Rastafarian. Yeah, his name's Doug Darrell. <laughs> And, I mean, I'd never heard of him before. He just, some guy grown pot, got caught for it. Somebody snitched him out, and he uh, went down. But in court, this one lady talked to the jury about why he shouldn't be found guilty, and she convinced them all. They found him not guilty, all 12 of them, and that man walked free nice. after that. So you could have that effect if you take the time out. And I understand it sucks going to jury duty because you'd rather be doing something that you love to do. Uh, but you could save someone from prison who doesn't deserve to go there, and I, I think that's worth the time. Well, thanks. Uh, that's a good story, and uh, thanks for the input, guys. Hey, I hope that helps, and good luck with your decision. Thank you, Matthew, for the call tonight. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. I've never had the uh, opportunity to get on a jury. There was one time I got called down in Florida. I did know about jury nullification at the time, but I just wasn't picked. And I didn't put anything on my uh, form that I they make you fill out a form usually when you get called for jury duty. I didn't put anything on my form that would have been an immediate giveaway that this guy's a libertarian. And of course, in Florida, they you know, they didn't know who I was. I mean, they had a, a large pool of 150 people in Sarasota, Florida, going to that jury selection. Um, here in New Hampshire, the at least in Cheshire County, if I get picked, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to disqualify me right quick because I'm a well-known quantity in town. Yeah, I don't think that I'd make it onto too many New Hampshire juries either. <laughs> but there's a great organization here, NHJury.com, that's doing some excellent outreach work. We talked briefly about them last night. There's a contest running right now. You don't have to live in New Hampshire to enter the contest. If you've got some great ideas as to how we can take NHJury.com to the next level, you can go to NHJury.com, click the Great Ideas uh, link over toward the top menu of the page and submit your great idea. We might pay out up to 50 bucks to you for it. So there's more coming up here. 855 450 free. Speaking of money, a Bitcoin ATM is under fire. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. This is David Cordani, CEO of Cigna. For more than 20 years, Cigna has worked with the March of Dimes to address premature births in the U.S. Thank you for taking time to learn more about how you could support March for Babies in 2015. Premature births cause horrible suffering and cost billions of dollars each year. That's why Cigna is committed to raising funds and awareness through our employees, family, and friends to improve the health of moms and babies. Please join us in supporting the March for Babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. 
I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Who did you let down today? Your wife? Your kids? Well, how about yourself? Take a look in the mirror. If you're tired of your drug and alcohol problem, you need to fix the problem and right now before you hurt or kill yourself or worse yet, somebody else. Call the addiction specialist now at the Detox and Treatment Helpline 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you have private insurance, we specialize in finding you the right treatment. When you call right now, you'll speak to a recovering addict who understands what you're going through right now. Let us help you break your addiction to drug and alcohol before it's too late. This call is completely confidential and free. So if you have private insurance, take five minutes of your time. Call right now. I promise it'll change your life. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. Call right now. 800-208-5187. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. The Skype username is LRN.FM. We'll go to Skype here in just a moment, actually. Uh, your calls are welcome on whatever topic you'd like to discuss. Some disturbing news from Chris Cantwell's uh, world here in a moment with one of his fans. Pretty disturbing uh, story there. And also another bit of bad news from the Bitcoin world as well. Hopefully it'll be something good to talk about too tonight. Uh, 855-450 free. You can get a free pound of coffee by just going to coffee.freetalklive.com and signing up for the subscription. It is a subscription, but you can cancel it at any time. You can get your free pound and go. It's not a problem at all. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. But if you continue to get your coffee there, you'll be upgrading your coffee drinking experience because it's far better tasting than the stuff you're going to find at the the store and significantly cheaper and better for you than the place things you're going to get at sort of the chain coffee places it's 100% organic top 1% grade arabica beans shade grown delicious coffee i love buzzbox coffee and i really you know it's it's a step down to drink anything else so go check it out get a free pound I want you to try it out and when you do get it, what you'll realize is, is that um, we're able to give back with BuzzBox. They send us some of the proceeds, and we take them and we give out microloans through Kiva.org to people around the world that so they can, you know, buy cows or fix their cars or, um, you know, so they can do a taxi ride. Most of them are just trying to do something to put a business together. And you got to have a business if you're going to be successful. So coffee.freetalklive.com, you pay the shipping, we'll give you a pound, you can cancel the subscription anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. Let's go to the phones here, Skype, specifically where Forrest is on the line in Louisiana. Forrest, you're on Free Talk Live, go ahead. Um, hi, I just uh, I wanted to, I have a very short anecdote and I wanted to ask you guys um, 
advice actually. Sure. Uh, I got called for duty for jury duty, and I was actually excited. I thought there might be a small chance I'd get on a, a case where I would be able to nullify. Okay, and um, it was a it was a heck of an experience. Um, I mean, I was kind of shocked. I was shocked by a lot of things, but tell me some I was of them. So sure. one of them one of them was they they showed us a video where they're bragging about uh, all the uh, you know drug stuff that they've done, and uh, I guess just who's you know, who made the video the the justice system or the police. I believe that I believe it was the justice system, and they were, wow. you know, they were, <laughs> yeah, they were bragging. You can help the us convict these drug dealers. Now go in and uh, you know be sure you're very honest about how you do things. It's propaganda and, yeah. right beforehand. It's crazy. Yeah, it made me a little. It made me really mad, um, you know. But I guess nobody else cared because I guess they all feel like anybody who's who's doing those evil drugs should be in, in jail immediately. Oh, man. Well, this is but, Louisiana, um, right? I mean, they've got some of the most draconian penalties in the United States for cannabis down there, from yes, what I understand. It, yes, it's, it's the, yeah, the, the minimum uh, for having one plant is like 25 years. So I, I, I might be wrong about that, but that's that's what I've heard. Um, but uh, the thing that, there was two things that, that, that kind of struck me. Um, one was when they they asked a lot of the other jurors, basically, will you apply the law as I give it to you? Like that was a question for selection. Mm. And um, they're basically asking them, you know, are, would you nullify if you think the, the, the law is immoral? Of course, they don't use the word nullify. Sure. And they didn't ask me that. Um, and uh, I did get I did get um, kicked off the jury immediately for. I think was a funny reason, but uh, after I, I, I want to know, you know, what do you guys think? How, how can you honestly answer that without, without uh, you just should you just lie? I don't know. I mean, I want to be on the jury in case an immoral law is applied, but I don't, you know, want to say the wrong thing. Did they say um, law or statutes? No, they said the law. Yeah, as far as I'm uh, concerned, I will apply the law. I believe the law is a moral um, code written into the fabric of uh, existence. Well, um, the, I, I believe yeah, the statute— Yeah, but as the judge instructs it, will you do it as the judge instructs? Is that what the— What is the actual quote? Uh, you know, I'm sorry. It was— It was The words, it was so that, he, the words that the caller just gave us was, will you apply the law as I give it to you? Yeah. And so— yeah, that was the lawyer. Oh, that was the lawyer. Yeah, the lawyer said that, yeah. The, Which lawyer? The prosecutor. The prosecutor? Um, it was. It was actually it was a, um, a civil case. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I don't even remember. I don't remember. But yeah, the, usually uh, parties to the case don't get to tell the jury what the law is. Yeah, I don't that's think true. That's kind of the idea behind it. In any case, my suggestion to you would be to lie, to say whatever you have to say to get onto the jury. There is no shame in lying to a kidnapper. Uh, if you are in a situation mm. where you're being, uh, you are acting in defense of somebody else, there's nothing wrong with doing whatever you have to, to, uh, to, to act that way. If you were kidnapped and you said, "Hey guys, I need to use the bathroom," and then you climbed out the window and didn't really need to pee, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And this <laughs> is true. basically the same thing. The thing liar! You have to, the, you're a liar! You're you're asking people to lie. Wait, 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 wait. The thing you've got to remember though is. Is this under perjury? Are you under the penalty of perjury when you answer these questions? And is there a way for them to catch you in the lie? Because if so, then you should be really careful with that. Yeah, first of all, this is not legal advice. I am yeah. not an attorney. None of us are. But uh, I don't think... Uh, the, if Can you get caught in the lie of, I will apply the law? Well... No, right? If that's the if that's theory, the question that he's answering. In in theory you can't because they aren't allowed in the jury uh, deliberation chamber. But if you were to make a statement to the other jurors that indicates something about jury nullification, like the from what I understand the folks over at the fully informed jury association do not recommend using those words inside the jury deliberation room. So they have some suggestions at Fija.org as to how to kind of go about covering up your beliefs, but at the same time exercising jury nullification right. when you're in there. Um, and so I think that there's – I don't think there's anything they can do to punish you really for ignoring the judge's instructions. And it was interesting that you're saying that it was actually a prosecutor asking you this. Were you asked directly like person to person or was this a form you were filling out? How 
How did that it work? was during it was during the question it was and they didn't ask me uh, I didn't have to answer that and I don't know if they said during what what part was it a du- like a direct question in in person or was it a that you filled something out a, yes it was a direct question they you know they pulled up the first uh, twelve or sixteen people uh, and and said you know they were asking them all questions to 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 dismiss people and that was one of the questions and it wasn't as direct as I'm quoting it because I'm paraphrasing could you have uh, answered badly, it in a but, way like I will apply the law, where you don't actually say yes to the question, but what you that's, say sounds like an affirmative to the answer, you know, to the question, that's probably, rather. That's probably the best best way to go about it. Because and if you I say, I will you- apply the law, then to you, the law is jury nullification, right, if, if the circumstances are, are correct. I'm just trying to think of another way right. around this as that's- far as— that's I'll ignore the lie. judge and the prosecutor in this circumstance because I consider them to be immoral bureaucrats, and I'll apply what I consider to be right and just. That'll get you kicked I, I out did. right yeah, away. That'll get you kicked off. <laughs> right I away. I think you wanted I to get on the jury. I got I got kicked off without even getting to that question because um, one of the lawyers saw me at the gym six months earlier wearing a Ron Paul shirt, and that guy remembered that. Wow. I had no idea who he was. And Is this he a small me, town? There's a million people here. Well, there were at that time. I think we're down a little bit, but but no, Jeez. yeah, it's incredible that he remembered me and I ran into him outside. I was like, "Why'd you guys dismiss?" He goes, "Oh, you know that whole libertarian thing." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he goes, "Oh, I saw you, saw you wearing a Ron Paul shirt." We can't and have I was, libertarians I, 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 on our juries. <laughs> Wait a second, hold on. Is it possible that you, he looked you up on Facebook um, ahead of time? You know, got the jury pool or whatever, did his homework um, ahead of time, mm, and looked you up yeah. on Facebook and saw you with the uh, the Ron Paul T-shirt? No, absolutely not. Okay. No, no, no. He he saw me at the gym. I actually he may have talked to me because during that time when Ron Paul was running, I had a bunch of people coming to me in, at the gym, and they were uh, you know I'd always I had like ten Ron Paul shirts, and I wear them out everywhere. And so he may have been one of the people who talked to me. And that's why I remember. I just didn't remember him. Wow. But uh, I was. I just thought it was crazy. I, I think that's a good reason uh, that'll lock down your Facebook profile. However, <laughs> that way, prosecutors can't Google you. I never even thought about that. But that's a, that's a great point. If you want to give us more of your observations here, it's an interesting story, Forrest. We'll uh, we'll hang on to you. You're welcome to come back. Eight fifty five, four fifty. Free more from Forrest, maybe with his experience being called and ultimately dismissed from jury duty. And at least the prosecutor was honest with him and told him, yeah, you're a libertarian. We don't want your type around here. It's Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in New Hampshire people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services.
Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free to bring up what you like. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, we'll talk about not a happy topic, suicide. Uh, But first something that is very happy vegas las vegas you could be going there and get some of the best prices out there from vegas.com plus you get an extra 10 percent off the already low prices on their website by using our code ftl you get that 10 percent off on not just hotels but also headliner shows tours attractions and even vip bottle service at top clubs now what this is is this is the best rates on everything and then 10% off of that with the coupon code FTL. That is a really big deal. The shows you want to see, 10% off. The lowest price and then 10% off. It's it's huge over at Vegas.com. They serve up Vegas from the inside at Vegas.com because unlike other travel sites, and there are a bunch of them, they are from Vegas. Everyone at Vegas.com lives in Vegas, works in Vegas, and parties in Vegas. They know the people that set the deals, so the second the prices drop in Vegas... Vegas.com drops them on their site in real time. Use code FTL when you're checking out to get the extra 10% off everything on the site except for air hotel packages. That's because they can't get the discount with the airlines. Uh, It's Vegas.com. You get your bonus savings on hotels and shows with code FTL. It's the only place you can get insider information for the Vegas trip of your life. Vegas.com. And it doesn't get any easier to remember than Vegas.com. Uh, We'll go back to Forrest here. He's on the line in Louisiana talking about his experience, first time with jury selection, ultimately not selected due to a prosecutor actually remembering him, even though this is a fairly large metro area in Louisiana. Apparently, this prosecutor happened to go to the same gym as you and saw you working out in a Ron Paul T-shirt and told you outside of the courtroom when you inquired that that was why he had dropped you from the jury pool. Is anyone else skeptical of this? I mean... I, no, it sounds totally possible. I, I it, Remembering somebody's T-shirt from six months ago, it doesn't Maybe sound he thought totally you were really plausible. Cute or something like that. It's possible, I suppose. <laughs> but, okay, let's look at Occam's Razor here. What's more likely? That the, um, you know, with the all these fusion centers and the, uh, the, the intelligence apparatus working within the government, that, hmm. that jurors who sign a form... Um, are then checked out by, you know, through whatever 
you know, machinations the state has and some little dossiers slapped on the desk of these uh, uh, prosecutors and they say, uh uh-uh, uh, not this guy. And puts big red X's next to all the libertarians I'm just, on the list. Wouldn't they? I mean, that's that's believable, Mark, but this guy specifically told you, this prosecutor specifically said he Are you saw saying you the at state the gym, agent right? might have lied? But but he did see you at the gym at which you have worn a Ron Paul t shirt, right? Like so that was a believable story to you. Um, yeah, and I, I want to be clear, guys. It was I did not get on a um, criminal case. I was in a civil case. So it was not yeah. a prosecutor. Okay. So sorry. And and, the and other a lot guy. of people, a lot of people. I mean, I I went to the gym every single day, and I wore a different Ron Paul shirt every single day. So I'd gotten a lot of conversations about Ron Paul at the gym. So it's it's pretty plausible. I'm just um, uh, I and I don't think he thought he was saying anything wrong, um, when he said, "Yeah, we just." Because you were libertarian, I knew you were libertarian because you you were talking about Ron Paul and you were wearing a Ron Paul shirt at the gym. Uh, you know, we we just did too much of a wild card. You know, that was what he was going on. <laughs> and I I asked him by the way, I asked him if he um, what he thought about jury nullification since since I had him there. And um, man, I lost a lot of respect for lawyers that day. Uh, not just I mean, he doesn't <laughs> believe in it, he doesn't believe in it at all. But you know, I I just hearing these guys question the other jurors. And I mean, they picked the people that ha- gave the the worst uh, answers, and they asked the questions in the, like the most poorly worded ways. I, you know, they 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 told us what the case was about. It was uh, you know a car lawsuit, and the woman was trying to seal the uh, sue the dealership, but they they try to like beat around the bush and give these really horrible analogies, and they stumble over their words. And I was like, man, isn't this what you guys do for a living? Hmm. But um, but yeah, I mean, he didn't. He, he straight up told me he didn't believe the juries had the the power to to nullify. And even well, the I guess that doesn't even like, matter in a civil case, though. I mean, why wouldn't they want somebody a, a libertarian on the? Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you want somebody who's smart? It was somebody who was trying to avoid responsibility, is what it sounds like. He was the attorney for the. Uh, for, I, I imagine he was the attorney for the wrong party. I see. Uh, yes, and. And I don't know if that would have really made any difference to me, but, but um, you know, he didn't really even ask me any questions uh, along those lines. But the guys that he did ask questions to that gave really, you know, logical answers dismissed immediately. Mm. Like they kicked them off, and I, and I was just, saying, well, what are you guys doing? The, the people they kept on were the people the who were dumb. like saying just ridiculous stuff to get out of jury duty. Like the one woman <laughs> was like, I just feel bad for anybody who gets in an accident. I'm going to rule for her just like ahead of time. I'm going to tell you <laughs> whose side I'm on. I mean, she just didn't Incredible. want to be there. They kept her. <laughs> <laughs> Anything so, else you want to share from your experience, Forrest? There's, uh, the, I don't want to um, go on any longer, but I did want to bring, uh, see if you guys had heard, uh, because you just mentioned your Vegas.com spot. And uh, speaking of Vegas, Penn Jillette just on his podcast two weeks ago said that he withdrew all support from Rand Paul because he didn't support forced vaccinations and uh and i was what? really shocked to hear pendulette say that i'm a huge fan of pendulette i've never heard him say anything like that before and he's went on I i'm mean, not I'd- surprised i mean pendulette is kind of a allopathic medicine guy i mean he's sort of an inside the system guy in that way and it's certainly possible to be a libertarian and support vaccinations but forcing them that's pretty surprising yeah, it was crazy. He's like, "This is the one case where my libertarianism ends." Uh, yeah, think- well, everybody's that's that everybody's a state, uh, you know, a, a libertarian except for that one issue that they're really uh, it's really important to them. You know, I mean, the uh, the state is such an efficient and moral organization that you should really only keep it for that one issue that's really important <laughs> for you, because at that point, um, it will not be incompetent or evil. No, that would never happen. And, you know, you think of a lot of libertarian reasons to not support Rand Paul, (laughs) and this is the one reason that this so-called libertarian stops. That's uh, that's pretty funny. Thanks for sharing that tonight for us. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Yeah, the biggest uh, health uh, crisis in the world is cigarettes, and in the United States, they've been pretty successful with basically doing marketing to stop uh, cigarette use. Now, I will admit a lot of that marketing money has come from uh, judicial uh, you know, rulings uh, against tobacco The companies. one from the 1990s or whatever it was? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. It, it all goes uh, towards that. It's basically education to get people to stop using. But what it has shown 
is that education works. And it's far more effective than prohibitions. And in this case, you're just going to you know, be driving. People are going to go bananas if you try to force vaccinate. It, it's just going to drive people nuts. Let's talk to Doug. He's in Chicago listening via the TuneIn app. Hello, Doug. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's on um, your mind tonight? Pretty much, pretty much I want to show you or t- not show you, tell you about an article. I don't know if you heard about it. A DeKalb County cop, they have it in uh, Channel 2 in Atlanta. A cop by the name of Lynn Eshelman. I don't know if you heard about that or not. Her dog got out. Um, she thought that she locked her partner up, her canine dog, and uh, she didn't. The dog got out. He attacked an 11-year-old kid by the name of Key Chandler. Oh, no. Um, he shouldn't have been carrying marijuana. marijuana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, he he actually did, the, the cop, uh, or the dog by the name of Andor, actually did quite a bit of damage to the kid. Um, and Jeez. now... You have now you have her pretty much claiming immunity. She should not be held liable for her dog getting out. Mm. When if it were you or me or any other individual in the country and we locked up our dog and it got out, we'd be liable. It's true. You would. I mean, From what I understand. I, I find it. I, so now this is a police oh, yeah, dog. Definitely. It's a Correct. police dog. Yeah. I mean, isn't this now? I this guess is a law enforcement officer. Yeah, but I'm kind of. I I think she should be held liable, but from sort of current. The way things are done, it would be the department that would be held liable. Yeah, I I would go ahead and agree with your assessment there, Mark. It sounds to me like this is the police department's dog. Maybe you're talking. I could understand a situation where they don't want to hold the uh, the individual officer liable. Although I'd like to hold both of them liable. Yeah, but well, it would well, seem to be like somebody's got to be liable. Like the dog it doesn't just have free run because it belongs to a police department. Even in today's police state society, you'd think that the the law the the They'll clear the department. dog. That dog can go and bite but, whoever but no. it wants to bite. If, if the dog and her were on duty, you would be correct. It would be the department that would be liable. But neither one of them, according to the report from I read, were on duty. She put the dog away. She had the dog in her home. She put the dog away, mm-hmm. locked it up in the cage. The dog got out, went down the block, and attacked an 11-year-old kid. So she was no. keeping the police dog as her pet? Well, at, at, her, at her home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't lock they do. them up they in a... It. They don't lock them in a crate at the department uh, after hours when they're not being used. Right. There's uh, one right. officer usually them. who is sort of the keeper of the animal, and they, they have that relationship together. That's I, interesting. I, I, find, I, find, I find it ironic that whenever they do a raid, they immediately shoot the dog, whether or not you hit it coming or not. I mean, you can, hit, you can raid the, the improper home, they immediately shoot the dog. But here... They want no accountability at all. Of course not. Thanks, Doug. Good uh, good call. Appreciate you bringing that forward. We had not talked about that. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That dog can bite whoever the hell it wants to. It's a law enforcement officer, and the internal investigation will likely clear a police dog just as quickly as they'll pl- uh, clear a regular cop. It's Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Toyambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.50 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,206 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $242. Antiwar.com reports at least 20 more Afghan police were killed in a flurry of Taliban attacks south of Kabul, bringing the number of slain police up to 26 since the Afghan army announced its new offensive against the Taliban on Monday. Afghan officials are couching the offensive as a preemptive move to weaken the Taliban ahead of its usual spring offensive, though it seems to be provoking some major counterattacks. It's unsurprising as the Taliban is much less seasonal in its activities than it once was, and the 2014 spring offensive never really ended in the first place. Afghan officials say the offensive will continue until success is achieved. The Taliban and Afghan military have been fighting mostly to draw in the nation south throughout the winter, and a feared new spring offensive by the Taliban might put the troops in full retreat. Still, the offensive seems to be provoking an escalation of Taliban attacks, not weakening them. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports President Barack Obama's administration on Tuesday delayed implementing his unilateral steps to shield millions of undocumented immigrants from deportation after a judge blocked the action at the urging of 26 states, accusing Obama of exceeding his powers. In a setback to the president, U.S. District Judge Andrew Hainan in Brownsville, Texas, a city along the Texas-Mexican border, issued a temporary court order on Monday stopping Obama's executive action that bypassed a gridlock Congress. Hainan's action led left in disarray U.S. policy towards the roughly 11 million people in the country illegally. Obama said he disagreed with the ruling and expected his administration to prevail once the issue made its way through the courts. Obama told reporters in the Oval Office, the law is on our side and history is on our side. The president said the administration will comply with the judge's order and delay accepting applications from some of the undocumented immigrants for deportation relief and work permits that had been set to begin on Wednesday. Obama Obama said we will be prepared to implement this fully as soon as the legal issue gets resolved. He urged Congress to pass legislation to reform the U.S. immigration system more broadly. Obama said the Justice Department will appeal Hainan's preliminary injunction to the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans. Hainan has previously issued other opinions critical of the Obama administration's enforcement of immigration laws. The preliminary injunction is not a ruling on the merits of the lawsuit filed by 26 states. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. All of your funds on Coinbase are safe, with approximately 90% of customer funds being stored offline, and all wallets are stored using AES-256 encryption. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at Coinbase. Coinbase.fppradio.com. That's Coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports a group of amateur scuba divers shocked archaeologists when it discovered a hoard of 2,000 ancient gold coins off the coast of Israel. A recent winter storm shifted sands off the coast of Caesarea in recent weeks, unearthing the trove of coins dating back about 1,000 years. The harbor city dates back to the days of King Herod the Great about 2,000 years ago. The Israel Antiquities Authority searched the site and helped uncover the find. The scuba divers initially thought the coins were toys. Robert Cole, a new 
numismatist with the Israel Antiquities Authority said in a statement, despite the fact that they were at the bottom of the sea for about a thousand years, they did not require any cleaning or conservation intervention from the metallurgical laboratory. The oldest coin was minted in the 9th century in Italy. Most were minted in North Africa and Egypt between 996 and 1036. It is possible the coins were on a merchant ship that sank. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Congressman Hanford, you're married, two beautiful children, and yet you texted nude photographs to a 23-year-old staffer. Why did you do it? I wanted her to see my penis. I was hoping the penis photo would arouse her sexually, uh, that she might think, that's a nice penis. I will respond with an offer to have sex with the penis or maybe send a photo of my breasts. I would like that. And that's what I was hoping would happen. Here's what intrigues so many people. Why would a promising, successful politician take such a big risk? I knew I could let down my family, destroy my marriage, and damage the country that I love. But on the other hand, if there's even the small chance of getting off at any time, you got to take it. The big question. Do you plan to resign? No, I'm very good at my job. Plus, it's a lot harder to get women to have sex with you when you're not a congressman. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour. Plenty of time for you to dial toll-free at 855-450-FREE and bring up whatever you want. Disturbing news in the Bitcoin universe about one Bitcoin ATM company being targeted by a state criminal gang called Vermont. We <laughs> will uh, tell you a little bit more about that here in a moment. Plus... Christopher Cantwell is with us here, Ian, Mark, and Chris all in the studio. And Chris, there's been a disturbing uh, bit of news from one of your listeners, uh, one of your fans over at the Some Garbage Podcast and ChristopherCantwell.com. It's about suicide. We'll get into that here in a moment. But Ralph is with us to start things out here this hour. Ralph, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. You know, I was listening to you uh, talking a few minutes ago about uh, a gentleman being dismissed from jury duty. Because the prosecutor remembered him from something, uh, you know, I was kind of working while I was listening. But anyway, it just made me start laughing a little bit, remembering back when, back in the '80s, you were probably just a boy then. But back in the '80s, I I had my own business and I was robbed, mm. and at gunpoint, mind you, and the guy wanted to blow my brains out and everything else yes. like that. We got into a, to a fight, and anyways, one thing led to another. Anyways, I got out of it and. He uh, ran away. I got the license number. They caught him and that. Well, while he was in jail, he had made th several threatening calls to my store, which got me because, you know, he had to call collect, and I'm, I, like, hmm. accept the charges from the jail. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, okay. You know, I thought maybe it was one of my friends. Sure. He, anyways, made threats. And then he had people come down to the shop because, you know, I usually stayed at my shop until about 2 o'clock in the morning and then follow me. Well, you know, out in the country where we are, you know, we, we only have patrols, you know, sheriff patrols and that to come by every, what, every couple hours or so. So, I, you know, I, 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 I'm closing up and I got a lot of money. And I'm like, hey, there's a guy out here that's out and I, that shouldn't be and so forth. And uh, he had made a threat to me. Well, we're busy. You know, we're kind of tied up. You know, we can't do anything. I said, well... <laughs> We're out arresting yeah. marijuana smokers, sir. <laughs> <laughs> From what we can tell, all of our officers are asleep. <laughs> well, apparently, but anyways, the point is, is, is they tell me, you know, well, you, you have a gun there, right? I said, yeah. He said, well, why don't you take it with you, you know, for protection? <clears throat> I said, okay, fine, you know, so I, I do, and I, I'm driving. I was going to take and make a deposit at the bank. The guy's following me, but I decided not to. But anyways, I, I head on home. He stops following me. I don't need the gun now. So I throw the gun down on the, you know, in the holster down on the floor. On the way home, there's a speed trap. Guess who gets pulled over for doing five miles over the speed limit, which I think is virtually impossible to detect, you know, with these speed guns they got out here. But anyways, the point is, is they get me. I guess it's because, you know, 2.30 2 in the morning, you know, I'm the only car out there, and they're bored yep. or something. Okay. So they pull me over. Now, this is a different county. I live within, you know, right on the county line. Is this in Michigan in county, still? In another. Is this where this is? Pardon? Is this in Michigan? Yeah, it's in Michigan. Okay. Michigan. Okay. 
But anyways, one county is St. Clair County, the other county is Macomb County. Macomb County, they, they, they're they working with me, but St. Clair County, oh, I didn't call them. Oh, how stupid me thinking that, you know, that the, the, the sheriffs in each county, you know, know each other or something. I don't know. But anyways, on my way home, they pulled me over doing five over the speed limit. <clears throat> and uh, next thing I know is they're approaching my car with, with guns drawn like. And I'm like, well, what's going on here, you know? And, uh, I mean, we're out in those, on a side, on the back road in the complete dark, and he's he's asking me for my uh, driver's license and uh, registration and everything. So just to be clear, you, I, whoa, 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 before, before you go on, you had had a gun with you to protect yourself from somebody who was stalking you uh, at your workplace as you were driving home. You decided ultimately that that person left you alone. You threw the gun down in, well, not threw, but you placed the gun down well, in its holster on the floor on the, of the cab of the vehicle. Oh. And they acted like they'd never seen one and before. And the cops, when they drew their guns, had they seen the gun already or did they... Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How did they see it? Because you know, we're, there was no nightlights or anything. Completely dark. I mean, was and, he draw? Did he draw his gun on you before he even approached your window? At that's what, what it point? sounds like. Before they made contact, they approached the with their guns the, drawn. The one that came to my window didn't have his gun drawn. The one on that was came up the other side did have his gun drawn. Okay, it could have been just okay. their paranoid cops. I mean, it, but go ahead with the rest of the story. I mean, I'd like to hear what else happened. But anyways, then they, I'm told to get out of the car. Uh, the one that was on my window, he had his gun out at that time and said, get out of the car. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And they threw me up against the trunk of my car and the other, the other officer goes in there and he's looking around. Now he said he seen the gun right away, but yet, yet it took him like five minutes rooting through my car to find a gun. Now, when that officer was going, work. this was back in the 1980s. So when the officer was rooting around through your car, did they ask if they could search your car, and you allowed that? No, 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 no. I was pulled out like I was basically told to get out with a gun pointing at me, and uh, you know I, I complied real fast. You mm-hmm, know, sure, <clears throat> because they had a gun pointed at me. Yep. So you know, I, I got out of the car, shut the door, and no, the other officer when the one officer had me in the trunk in the back. The other officer went and opened my door and proceeded to go through my car. And like I said, I thought it was kind of funny because he said he had saw a gun, and yet it took him five minutes to root through my truck, by my car, to find, to find a gun because okay. my my dome light didn't work. You know, when you open the door, how you have a dome light? Well, my dome light didn't work. That's a ticket. Yeah. You know? So, anyways, the point is, is they put they they take and throw me in the back of the patrol car, and they're sitting there asking me questions and that. And I said, well, you know, yeah, I had the gun. I said it was for self-defense, and I explained to them, and I said, you can call the Macomb County Sheriff's Department. They told me, go ahead and take my gun with me. They asked, do you have a CCW? I said, I've applied for one. I'm still waiting for the – I said, they've got my check and everything Uh-oh. in my application, but they okay. they haven't gotten back to me. And I explained about the robbery and the threats and everything. And they said, uh-huh, okay. So how much time so did you they, spend in they, prison? I didn't go to prison. They, <laughs> they gave me a ticket and told me they will be in contact with me, and – let me go. Did they take the gun? Oh, yeah. Plus, now mind you, they, before they let me go, they also wanted to know what was I doing with such a large amount of cash on my possession. Because mm. you had just closed your like, business well, a, for the day. I'm like, I'm a store owner. If you notice, it was in a bank bag. I said, by the way, how'd you get that bank bag open? It had a lock in it. Well, I found out how. They broke the lock. Wow. And I noticed there was some money missing, too. <laughs> Jeez. So I guess that's yeah, why they t- I guess that's why you uh, didn't get any trouble. What was the ticket for? Uh, was it for unlawful conceal or something like that? No, the ticket was for speeding. Really? So they ticket, confiscated the your for... gun, but they didn't yeah, actually it, charge you for that? No, no, that's what it was unbelievable. Anyways, they let me go, and they said that the prosecutor will be in touch with me. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll just explain the situation to him. Everything be you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, no. So like. <laughs> Yeah, like two months later, finally, uh, the, you know, I, I'm getting tired of waiting around to see what's going on. So I called the prosecutor. And I'm a little bit of a hothead at, at times. Okay. But I called the prosecutor, and uh, I'm like, hey, what's going on here? I said, this is a little ridiculous, don't you think? I said, uh, you've got my gun. Some money was missing. I said, you were supposed to get a hold of me. I said, this could be a serious thing. I said, I'd like to get it all taken, taken care of. And he tells me uh, that 
I need to get a hold of an attorney, and he'll talk to my attorney, but he won't talk to me. Oh, I ridiculous. Said, I'm the one that pays your- you hadn't even been charged with the, with the possession of the gun. And at, at that, that point, point, you're representing yourself. Well, I don't even think the prosecutor knew about it yet. Yeah, I'm I think you're right. I don't think he knew about it yet. Now, that's one of those both. situations where, you know, I don't know what the laws are like in Michigan, but, I mean, Chris Cantwell, if you had been in New York and the cops had pulled you over and found a gun in your front seat. And a big old bag of cash. And they let you walk away <laughs> with a speeding ticket. You wouldn't have called the prosecutor, right? Like, if it had been a few months and they hadn't sent you anything, you probably wouldn't have called the prosecutor. No. Yeah. I don't oh. think that was a good well, move, yeah, but what else happened? Go ahead. Well, here's the thing, though. You know, you hear about these stories, you know, about throw-down weapons. Well, you know, that's all I need them to use. My weapon is the throw-down weapon that's registered to me with my fingerprints on it. Next thing I know, I'm getting charged with murder. No, thank you. I want to make sure you know, everything's above board. You follow me? I'm yeah, I, I that, definitely that, see that. the I got to get my gun back type of angle, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't blame you for doing it. So uh, so he says, well, I don't want to talk to you, so then what? I, I said, well, what do you mean? Let's, we're, we're men here. You, we, you, you can talk to me. I said, you know, I, I just want to get this problem solved. And he gave me some song and dance, and I ended up calling him a DA, you know, a dumb Yeah, donkey. yeah, that's fine. Hang on, Ralph. I want to hear the rest of your story. We'll come back with that. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Have you been in a similar situation? Does he get his gun back? We'll find out here in moments. It's Free Talk Live. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Welcome back to Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features we have there for you. That's freetalklive.com. If you want to get some Bitcoins, and I recommend that you do be getting some Bitcoins these days, uh, I think the price is quite low, and I think they're poised to move upward. I don't know if it's going to be right away, but I think that uh, they're going to be moving up over time. I did explain that a little earlier in the show, how I think that there's so many smart people making just so many uh, businesses surrounding Bitcoin. There's just momentum behind it, so it seems like it's going to uh, catch on to me. But if you want to get Bitcoins, Litecoin, Dogecoin, or there's a couple other uh, cryptocurrencies they've got over there at ExpressCoin.com. They make it fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business. You just go um, to expresscoin.com. You can use a money order or a check to get your cryptocurrency of choice, whether you're in the U.S. or whether you're in Canada. It doesn't make a difference. You can even do it from your smartphone by downloading the app that they've got at expresscoin.com. And if you use coupon code FTL, you can get up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency of choice for no fee at all. It's no fee. Now, obviously, you have to pay the, for the cryptocurrency, but you won't be paying a fee if you use coupon code FTL and you purchase something under $40. Obviously, that's intended to get uh, people started and trying it out and see how it works for them. It's expresscoin.com, coupon code FTL. All right, let's go back to Ralph. He was recounting a story from the 1980s when he was a business owner, uh, was being threatened by a guy and ultimately took a gun with him. Uh, when he was leaving the store one day. On the instructions from the police. Correct. And uh, even though he had not yet acquired a concealed weapons permit, although you had applied for that permit, it had not been delivered to you or perhaps had not yet even been approved uh, at that moment. Then, uh, after the threatening person left, you put the gun on the floor of the vehicle that you were in, in the passenger side floor, I think you said, and you proceeded to get pulled over by some other cops who then issued you a speeding ticket, took your gun, but didn't charge you with anything in relation to the gun. You then hadn't heard anything from anyone in the police or the prosecution, so you called the prosecutor up. The prosecutor basically told you, yeah, I'm not talking to you unless you've got an attorney, even though he hadn't charged you with anything yet relating to the gun. And I think that's about where we left off your story. Yeah. So anyways... Um I immediately called a lawyer and retained a lawyer just to be safe. That's not cheap. And no, no. <laughs> but anyways, within a week, I get a phone call from my wife, and she says, the uh, sheriff's department's here, and they're asking for you. And I said, well, put them on the line. And they put her, she put them on, and he says, yeah, we'd like you to come home before we can arrest you. <laughs> and I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, if you want me, come on over here to Macomb County and get me. He said, well, we can't. I said, well, then, you know what, I'll, I'll show up to court with my lawyer. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, well, fine, can you tell us when you'll be coming home? <laughs> you know, I said, I don't think so. I don't think I will be coming home. <clears throat> and he 
we kind of left it at that, and I called him a couple of choice words. Yep. But anyways, I, I, I called, and I've come to find out, I guess, the Macomb County prosecutor, which I was working with to prosecute these uh, these criminals that have been ca- captured because they were robbing my store. By the way, those same criminals robbed seven other stores that night, and I was the only one to stand up to them and get, their, get them caught. But anyways, the, the point is, is, I guess the Macomb County Sheriff's was protecting me, and the St. Clair County couldn't come over and get me. <clears throat> but, well, no, it's uh, just out of their jurisdiction. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... They just can't operate outside of that county in general. But anyway, go ahead with your story. Usually in situations like that, I've been, you know, living on the border like this. You can see you see the, them working together all the time. Fair enough. But anyways, the point is I went and uh, called my attorney the uh, next day because it was uh, late that night. It was getting late that night. He wasn't in. And so he said, no problem. Come on up to my office tomorrow, and we'll go to the uh, courthouse. So I did. And we went in there, and they set up an arra- arraignment, and they arraigned it. Uh, uh, you know, they took and did all the fingerprinting and photographing. On and what that, charge? Carrying a concealed weapon. Uh, without a permit. Without a permit. And, and what is that in, Mich- in Michigan? Do you recall? Was it a, a violation, a misdemeanor? Oh, no. They were taking this federal. They, this is back when they were first starting. To federal? The oh, yeah. They, they were making a federal case out of this. I couldn't really? believe it. They, they, wanted to, they were talking about 25 years. I'm like, what? I think he means to say felony. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Felony, yeah. not federal. Those are two completely sense. different terms. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to uh, have the federal, federal government charge for that. Okay. But the, the whole, it, it, pardon? I said it would not make sense to have the federal government charge you in that particular case. There's no case. federal ban on carrying a gun in Michigan. And this is it. a this is a Michigan law that you're talking about breaking. So you're charged with felony for carrying a gun. Continue. Yeah. So anyways, you know, we, we got uh, went through the arraignment and everything. They set bond. I was released. <clears throat> and the whole procedure started. Now, this, this went on for over three years. Years. Yeah, you're gonna have to take the three years and boil it down into like yeah. two minutes at most. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, well, this is not even going to the where I'm going with this whole this story. This is the short well, version. Well, get to something, okay? <laughs> we had you on okay, for an entire I'm, segment. I'm, now we're into another one. You yeah, gotta I'm just get to the you, You've got to get to it. So, anyways, the thing got thrown out of court three times. It finally got president set president in the uh, state Michigan State Supreme Court, where it got put back kicked wow. back in, into trial. So you can even check my last name in that and find out it has presidents in, in the United in the uh, Michigan Supreme Court. But to make a long story short, finally the jury found me not guilty because these these cops, both of their stories that they had filled out, you know how they got to fill out paperwork. Their stories didn't even match up in paperwork. Every time we put them on the stand, they 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 were screwing up. But to make a long story short, the prosecutor and the judge that was going to try and hang me, the jury went against them and found me not guilty after three three years. So awesome. what you're saying is okay. the jury nullified because it was like pretty clear that you had this gun uh, that was illegally being kept on the floor of the cab, uh, you know, in violation of the concealed weapons laws. And you're saying that the jury basically found you not guilty despite the law, correct? Well, no, no, no. They found me not guilty in favor of the law because the law says that in Michigan, if you're in fear of your life, you're allowed to carry a gun, whether it's concealed, open carry, really? or whatever. Yeah. And that's how they found me innocent. Fascinating. Which, you know, I, Interesting story, I Ralph. Thanks for sharing your story tonight. Wait, 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 I do wait, wait, appreciate no. it. Thank you for the call tonight. <laughs> Get well is done. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I, I, I appreciate you sharing the story with us. It went on through an entire segment. We're, what, halfway through another one? And he's like, wait a second. I still got more to talk. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not the Ralph show. Yeah, some other time. Uh, we've got to make room for other folks who want to comment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Nick is in Cleveland. You're on Free Talk Live. Nick. Yeah, hi guys. Um, I was just wondering if you've seen this story. I was looking on the Free Talk Live website and I didn't see anything about it, about the NSA now embedding new spying software in hard drives that are being distributed. I've heard uh, about this. In fact, Rich computers. mentioned it last night, I think. I haven't seen the story. He, I Rich think Rich like, actually sent it to us on Facebook. Yeah, he tagged me in something, but it was on like rare.us, which I didn't considered to be the most reputable of news sources. I don't have any reason to doubt them, but I never, I don't recognize it. Oh, Oh, okay. Well, the story I'm looking at is actually on Reuters. 
Okay, oh, wow. that's, that's pretty well, stand reputable. Stand by. We can talk to you about it here in a moment. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I mean, I understand that people call in. They want to tell their story in detail, and court is always a detailed story. Right. So I was glad we were able to get to uh, to where he was going, at least partially. Uh, 855-450-FREE. If you got more to say, we're on here seven nights a week. You can join us anytime here on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good health. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. Do good people ever want to call an attorney just to find out if they're right or wrong? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what are you forced to think about first? Money. If you could call as often as you wanted and talk as long as you need without a bill, would you call? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special super early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through early March, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. A heroic broken sewage pipe floods Congress with waste. Johnson & Johnson introduces new leave-in Q-tips. This Thursday, local youth Andrew Robillard told reporters he had no idea why he couldn't wear his Iron Man costume to his grandfather's funeral. Robillard, whose grandfather passed away this week after complications from a stroke, vented his frustration to reporters and noted that his grandpa, quote, probably wouldn't even care if he dressed like Iron Man at the funeral. Iron Man is awesome. I want to wear my Iron Man suit. I am a Man. And in tech news, a news website refers to its users' ceaseless exchange of racial slurs as a discussion. In other news, Guinness World Records promotes the man who can lift 27 pounds with his tongue to editor-in-chief. Thursday's cry is moved up to Wednesday due to a scheduling conflict, and a family watches in silence as dad checks out the waitress. This is the Onion News Network. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. 
Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want right here. Toll free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Join Chris Cantwell on his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. Chris, what's fresh at ChristopherCantwell.com? I actually haven't updated the website in a couple of days. I've just been so busy going to Concord and editing video. It's still the last the last thing up there is uh, some garbage podcast, but I hope to publish some of the anarcho lobbyist stuff tonight. Okay, cool. So we'll look forward to that. And uh, of course, some garbage podcast a weekly, at the very least weekly, sometimes twice at a week. At the very least weekly. I Production. do it every Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we sometimes will do a special episode if something's going on. Go to ChristopherCampbell.com to get more Chris. We are giving away. We got a contest, and we're giving away three fifty-dollar gift certificates to a T-shirt company that one of our listeners uh, has put together. It's called Corporate Sellout. Hmm. Uh, you can actually go take a look at uh, some of their stuff at corporatesellout.storeenv.com. And um, it's, it's all you got to do to get the gift certificates is go fill out our survey. I'm trying to get it put together a demographic survey for Free Talk Live. Uh, advertisers have been asking for this stuff, and we used to have one, but it was kind of old. So um, I'm redoing it, and that it's easier to fill out this way. So just go to demo.freetalklive.com, and when you do, make sure you fill out the survey with your email address. You're not going to win if you don't use your email address. It's fine if you don't, but just understand you're not going to win these uh, uh, gift certificates that we're talking about here. We're going to do the drawing on March the 1st at noon Eastern. International listeners may win, but you'll likely have to cover the shipping to where you are. It's just a uh, it shipping just goes kaboom once you used to leave leave the geographic area of the United States. So, uh, you know, Enter at your own risk at that point. Filling out this uh, survey will enter you in all future contests that have to do with the survey, too. I probably will run a few more if I want to get some more entrants or whatever. So you won't have to refill out. Don't, please don't refill out my survey <laughs> at that point. Um, so anyway, it's demo.freetalklive.com. Yeah, looking at some of these shirts, I imagine a number of people would enjoy Yeah, there's the good, edgy there. stuff, good stuff. Why are you doing a demographic survey? Um, you want qualitative data? Um, I you'll love the first question though. Uh, your your audience is men between twenty five and forty five. Most of them are single neck beards who smoke pot, right? I mean, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, the but I did uh, I threw in a race question the first one, and I said, "What race are you?" <laughs> Why do you even bother? And then I uh, just put human was the only choice. Yeah, it's oh, cute. <laughs> that's so cute because you're like, oh, we know you're all gonna answer white. <laughs> Well, that's not necessarily true. I mean, there are people who are in the liberty movement who are not white males. Um, I know. I'm just repeating libertarian stereotypes yeah. is what in I'm fact, doing. In fact, a black guy just moved to Keene today, as a matter of that's fact. That's right. So uh, I'm very it's, happy about that. Uh, it's true uh, that uh, those are stereotypes, but they're stereotypes for a reason. The fact is is that uh, the last I looked, we were at 85% male on my uh you know, that, that's that's pretty good. I mean, my uh, my demographics. I look at it, and my, especially YouTube, it's ridiculous. It's like ninety seven percent male. It's crazy. So let's go back to Nick. He is on the line here. Nick, you say you've got a Reuters story about the NSA putting spyware or malware of some sort on hard drives in like the boot sector. Tell me more. Um, yeah, the title of the article is Russian Researchers Expose Breakthrough in U.S. Spying Program. Mm. And I won't read the article, but it, basically the first sentence is that the U.S. National Security Agency has figured out how to hide spying software deep within hard drives made by Western Digital, Seagate, <gasps> Toshiba, and other top manufacturers. Wow, yeah. Um, and apparently this is worldwide, so it's not just Americans. They plan to spy on every person who owns a computer on Earth. Um well, that's just and fantastic. I, by the way, I found this article on another blog that I read that I think every libertarian ought to le read, which is called armstrongeconomics.com. I don't know if you guys know about that one. No. But that is uh, – anyway, that that's a separate topic. But, I'll check them out. So what you're saying yeah. is every single one of these hard drive ma – major hard drive manufacturers, those names you gave, are they are the big players. Uh, every single one of these major hard drive manufacturers has teamed up with the NSA – to put spy software on every drive that ships out of their factory? Uh, it seems that this lab, this like Kaspersky lab in Russia, found personal computers in 30 countries that were infected with one or more of these spying programs. So I don't know how they're getting them in there. It's just that these 
these Russians have done some sort of uh, forensic work to figure this out. Kaspersky Labs are brilliant guys. I actually have Kaspersky as an advertiser, an and company, uh, yeah, right? I use I use Kaspersky Internet Security. I, I recommend it to my IT clients, and uh, they're they're really on top of their game. So I'm. Uh, that is a scary, scary story. Thanks, Nick. I've got the story pulled up here. We'll uh, dig in a little bit deeper. I appreciate uh, hearing from you. From uh, from what the headline says over on uh, Computer World, there is no way of knowing if the NSA spyware is on your hard drive. According to ComputerWorld.com, I figured we'll go here rather than the Reuters stories but because you probably get a little bit better analysis. Yeah, but at least we've got the, the Reuters narrative to say, okay, this is probably reputable now, didn't we talk about this a year ago i don't recall ever hearing about this now this okay. one sounds like a pretty new story this is I fresh mean, every once in a while we hear about things in our phones or then there was the thing recently with the samsung smart tvs and that sort of thing but i'm pretty uh, sure they're everywhere i mean like at this point it's it, it, you would be a fool to think that the nsa doesn't have uh, some ability to spy on every gizmo that's that you've got right Lucas Mirian or Mirian over at computerworld.com writes in the story published today malware intentionally created by the US National Security Agency to infect personal computer hard disk drives and solid state drives cannot be detected by antivirus programs the spyware which infects a drive's firmware can also produce a treasure trove of data for any government agency controlling the drives according to Russian security software maker Kaspersky Labs or Kaspersky Labs Kaspersky released a report this week saying it had discovered the spyware on 30 uh, in 30 countries on personal computers, including in the United States. The company said the malware known as Fanny likely predated other NSA spyware such as Stuxnet and has likely been in use for nearly two decades. Whoa. That's pretty shocking here if that's the case. If this spyware has been on hard drives for nearly two decades. We're talking, you know, mid-1990s is when this stuff started going out. Yeah, that's terrifying. Because when crazy. I'm hearing the story at first, I'm saying to myself, I'm like, wow, I was thinking about upgrading my hard drives. I'm glad I have old, slow hard drives. And then I was like, oh, oh these man. are not from the 80s. <laughs> um, okay, so first, I guess a couple of thoughts come up here is... is uh, the NSA was putting stuff on our hard drive back when the FBI couldn't figure out how to create email accounts. And back when the internet was in its incipient stages as yeah. well. I mean, But then I think, uh, well, the internet was created by like DARPA, right? Um, so, I mean, why wouldn't it be just one big listening device? Well, many computers in the mid-1990s were not connected to the internet on any regular basis. I yeah. mean, we're talking about back, if they're saying nearly 20 years, then, well, it's... 2005 now, nearly 20 could be 1996, 1997. I mean, broadband was hitting. I remember Sarasota, Florida, where I'm from, was the one of the first markets that Comcast actually brought cable modems to, and that did hit at around 1996. So, I mean, maybe we're talking about right around the time frame when broadband started to happen, but certainly they would have had very, very little data to be able to receive on a on a regular basis from this thing. It's terrifying. And, you know, it's it's funny. I just, uh, on Friday, I had Adam Kokesh on my show. And Adam's whole thing, I don't know how often you guys listen to Adam's stuff. I mean, his idea is basically that technology will outpace the state, mm -hmm. that, the, that technology will make the state obsolete. And I had made this sort of observation as I'm talking to him. I'm like, well, you know, we got the internet and this is a wonderful communications tool. And yes, people are managing to get informed if they see fit to do so but it also gave us prism like the the greatest surveillance program in the history of mankind and i sort of look at technology and the state as like robotic police forces killing people indiscriminately and now we've got this thing with the with the hard drives it's uh it's making the tech a little scary if you ask me we'll talk a little bit more about it here i've only cracked into the first few paragraphs of this story 855 450 freeze the number 855-450-3733. If you've dug in deeper on this and you've got some comments, we'd love to hear from you. Also on the way, we'll really bring the show up by talking about suicide. So stay tuned. It's Free Talk Live. Happy days. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. 
The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's TogetherSave.com. TogetherSave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. TogetherSave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at TogetherSave.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. Uh, with you tonight in studio, you've got me, Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. Hey, don't forget, you can join us online. We've got all kinds of features there. And if you want to support Free Talk Live, One of the ways to do that is by shopping with us. You go to shop.freetalklive.com. You can enter Amazon through the links you'll find there at shop.freetalklive.com. There's Amazon US, Amazon Canada, Amazon UK. 
and uh, you just enter to the one that's right for you, and Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. So once again, go to uh, shop.freetalklive.com. There's more to the story about the NSA spyware allegedly being found on personal computers and on hard drives in 30 countries. Um, we can get into that if we get the chance here, but let's go to your calls first. We got Bill. He's listening in Sarasota, Florida uh, to WSRQ. Hello, Bill. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome, this is a sir. great little show. I, I appreciate that. I've, Thanks. I'm down here working in Florida, and uh, it's the first time I've ever, actually ever heard the show. Welcome to the program. We've been on for a long time in uh, Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, we got our start in Sarasota, Florida yeah. on uh, what is now The Buzz. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm down here working, so uh, I have the radio on while I'm working, and all of a sudden, uh, there's the show. So uh, I just figured I'd call in and just give you a little levity for the evening, you know, cool. very quick. Go for it. And uh, you remember, uh, I'm sure you remember General Powell from uh, Gulf War fame and subsequent yep. regression into insanity. And um, so uh, just wanted to, wanted to ask I'm you. I'm pretty what sure the insanity when, came uh, before the Gulf War. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may be right. Now it's just dementia, I guess. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless uh, hey, what do you call it when uh, General Powell takes a shower? I have no clue. It's a colon cleansing. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Bill. I appreciate that. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We continue here. Uh, so there's a little bit more detail on this NSA story that I don't know if we're going to have a chance to really go as deep as they go on Computer World, but I will put the story over on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter uh, and turn over to Reuters.com. Again, the allegation here is that Hard drive manufacturers such as Western Digital, Toshiba, IBM, even SSD makers like Micron and Samsung, that spyware, the spyware in question has been discovered on hard drives from over a dozen manufacturers. The story over at ComputerWorld.com does say they talked to spokespeople from some of these hard drive manufacturers. Western Digital spokesman said the company has not participated in or supported the development or deployment of cyber espionage technology by government entities, adding that, quote, Western Digital has not provided its source code to government agencies. Uh, they say that we are in the process of reviewing the report from Kaspersky Labs and the technical data set forth within that report. Seagate, the largest producer of hard disk drives, said that it also had no, quote, specific knowledge of any allegations regarding third parties accessing our drives. They, their spokesman claims for over seven years, Seagate has been shipping drives, offering industry leading levels of self encryption while putting in place secure measures to prevent tampering or reverse engineering of its firmware or other technologies. So the companies are saying they don't know what's going on here. They don't know how this could have happened. I don't know if they're telling the truth. Uh, I mean, a national security letter would require them to not admit to it. I don't know if that would cause them to directly deny, mm -hmm. right? Because, I mean, we hear stories from Facebook and Google that they say, hey, yeah, we basically give your information to the government, but we're not allowed to tell you the circumstances, right? Uh, in this case, I mean, the, the hard drive manufacturers are denying it. Now, as I've heard so far, and I'm interested to look into the story more now that now that we've taken a look at it, but I mean, if Kaspersky is finding viruses, computer viruses, on hard drives in different parts of the world, and they happen to be on uh, the devices of various different manufacturers, there's other ways that that uh, malware can potentially get into the hard drive, I suppose. I mean, but this, this is, is a... in the firmware of the drive, right? Like that's not exactly an easy place to access. Certainly not the easiest, but you got to imagine that the the hard drive manufacturers are getting firmware on there somehow, and it probably involves connecting it to a computer. And mm -hmm. so these things are connected to a computer. I mean, we can flash the firmware on our PCs, we can flash our BIOS on our computer. There's got to be a way to do that with a hard drive as well. According to the Reuters piece, the firm Kaspersky declined to, pu declined to publicly name the, com the country behind the spying campaign, but said it was closely linked to Stuxnet, the NSA-led cyber weapon that was used to attack Iran's uranium enrichment facility. The NSA is the agency responsible for gathering electronic intelligence on behalf of the United States. A former NSA employee told Reuters that Kaspersky's analysis was correct and that people still in the intelligence agency valued these spying programs as high highly as Stuxnet. Another former intelligence operative confirmed that the NSA had developed the prized technique of concealing spyware and hard drives. 
but said he didn't know which spy efforts relied on it. NSA spokesbureaucrat Vanny Vines declined to comment. Kaspersky published the technical details of its research Monday, which should help affect infected institutions detect the spying programs, some of which trace back as far as 2001. The disclosure could further hurt the NSA's surveillance abilities, already damaged by massive leaks by former contractor Edward Snowden. Uh, the, the, the going on here, according to Kaspersky, the spies made a technological breakthrough by figuring out how to lodge malicious software in the obscure code called firmware that launches every time a computer is turned on. Disk drive firmware is viewed by spies and security experts as the second most valuable real estate on a PC for a hacker, second only to the BIOS code invoked automatically as the computer boots up. The hardware will be able to infect the computer over and over, said lead Kaspersky researcher Costin Rain in an interview. Yeah, normally if you have, if I have a virus on my computer, then I just reformat and reinstall Windows. But if you're in the firmware of my hard drive, it's going to keep dropping it in. It'll just drop it right back in. That's so, terrifying. So the suggest, the idea here is that the virus is sort of hanging out in the firmware, and that essentially. It can just go ahead and load itself into the operating system on the computer to every time to do something more devious, right? Like so, it sits there and it waits until the computer is essentially booted up or whatever. It inserts itself and essentially can never be cleaned because if you clean off, if they do manage to clean off whatever it's inserting onto the hard drive, it's still there in the firmware and can keep coming back. Yeah, the like idea being firmware. I, for for those who are listening who are not familiar with these terms, I mean, when you load Windows onto your computer. When when you load Microsoft Office, whatever that's programs, that's software. Okay, your your hard drive, the me the mechanics, the 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 pieces of your computer, that's considered hardware. Somewhere in between the the software that runs the hardware, we call that firmware. That's inside the device. It's hard coded in there. That it's not. It can be updated though. It can be updated, but generally speaking, it's not user serviceable for the most part. You we, pretty much have to be a a, a computer person to upgrade firmware exactly now i have never heard of the i've never heard of updating the firmware on a hard drive i've updated I've seen the firmware done. on computers before i've updated the bios of a of a right. of a computer plenty of times i've never heard of that with a hard drive before but apparently it's somebody doable. figured out how to put some arbitrary code in there and that's that's really really scary news now the big question is how does this happen at what point is this happening is it right. is it somehow that the uh, the agencies in question are intercepting products? In some cases, they they've done that, right? Like they've intercepted packages mm -hmm. and flashed them or whatever. Right. Or or is this something where if you just take any old hard drive and send it to Kaspersky, that they're going to find it on there? I mean, I th I think the suggestion is that maybe this is not on every hard drive in the world, but that uh, you know it's hard to determine which on ones hard it drives is on all over the world. Yeah, it's a K K Kaspersky statement. Apparently, said they found it on hard drives in thirty different countries. That's the statement that I heard Kaspersky That's make. Right. It, they certainly would have uh, said. I think that if it was on every hard drive made for the last twenty years, I'm sure Kaspersky would have figured that out and said something to that effect that we could not find a hard drive without it. According to the article over at Computer World and uh, echoed over in Reuters, essentially the authors of the spying programs must have had access to the proprietary source code that directs the actions of the hard drives. The code can serve as a roadmap to vulnerabilities, allowing those who study it to launch attacks more easily. The uh, expert from Kaspersky says, quote, there is zero chance that someone could rewrite the hard drive operating system using public information. So the suggestion is that somehow they got into proprietary uh, code from the vendor's uh, firmware. Like, you know, this is like secretive internal company only kind of information like this i think it's pretty available. clear it's a government yeah and they the the nsa had access to the heartbleed bug that big ssl bug that was big news a few months ago yeah. they had access to that for quite some period of time before it became public so i mean they could have potentially used something like that hacked into western digital or any of these different manufacturers and obtain code from their websites one of the experts did say that they uh, they could have in in theory perhaps reverse engineered the firmware code but they would say that it says here they would have had to have had abnormal skills in order to do that, especially for all 12 of these hard drive brands. There's more coming up on Free Talk Live. Suicide is on the way. When the leading antihistamine and nasocord go nose to nose, 
Nasacort wins, stopping more of the chemical responses that can cause your nasal allergy symptoms. And when you stop more causes, you get 24-hour relief from sneezing, an itchy runny nose, even congestion. It's prescription strength medicine available over the counter. Nasacort Allergy 24-hour. Stops more of what makes you miserable. Use as directed. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. coffee.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,208, silver at $16.48, and Bitcoin is trading around $244. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets, and to boost your returns through leverage. Learn more at CoinArch.com. Today's broadcast is also brought to you by Brave New Books. Your source for One World Way, Tangy Tangerine, and Clearly Filtered Fluoride Filters. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. In the news, after a federal judge in Texas issued a temporary court order on President Obama's executive actions on immigration, the White House announced a delay on the plan. U.S. District Judge Andrew Hainan in Brownsville, Texas, stated he took the decision based on calls from 26 states who say the president overstepped his authority. Following the announcement, President Obama said he disagreed with the judge's decision and declared that the law and history would be on his side. An officer with the Houston, Texas Police Department has been charged with theft after being arrested for stealing $60 worth of ammunition. Rookie officer Stephen Sargent was arrested at an Academy Sports and Outdoor store on Monday afternoon. A Houston Police Department spokesman said Sargent had only been on the force for a couple of months and was still listed as a probationary officer. Allegations of organizing sex rings continue to haunt Dominique Strauss-Kahn, former chief of the International Monetary Fund. Strauss-Kahn's team is attempting to get the charges dismissed based on a lack of evidence. Magistrates have been investigating Strauss-Kahn in response to claims that he was behind a number of parties that involved prostitutes from 2008 to 2011. The magistrates argue the charge for pimping is justified because Strauss-Kahn planned the parties and knew the women were prostitutes. The 65-year-old former chief says the parties were gatherings of like-minded swingers. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. With civil unrest occurring all across the country, being food secure has never been more important. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. 
More than 10,500 civilians were killed or wounded in the Afghanistan conflict in 2014. That word Wednesday from the United Nations. The number, the highest since the U.N. began tracking casualties in 2009, indicates a 22 percent rise in total casualties from 2013, as Afghan security forces took full control of the country's security. According to the Los Angeles Times, the report also illustrates the growing toll of the conflict on women and children. A new study suggests that mindfulness meditation practice may help older people who have trouble sleeping. Researchers at the University of Southern California, Los Angeles, examined 49 people who were at least 55 years old and suffered from moderately disturbed sleep. They split the participants into two groups. One underwent six weekly two-hour sessions of a course in mindfulness awareness practices for daily living, and the other attended six weeks of a sleep hygiene and education course. The group that learned mindfulness meditation practices improved at a higher rate than the sleep hygiene group. David Black, the study's lead author, stated that individuals are more likely to benefit from a meditation course with an experienced teacher. This edition of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Silver Botanicals, producing innovative, all-natural, high-quality colloidal silver and gold personal care products. Experience the power of colloidal silver with their Silver Shield deodorant and Silver Tongue oral disinfectant. Visit silverbotanicals.com for more information or buy their products at Brave New Books. Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from Justice Ranveer's Bitcoinism.liberty.me. Thoughts on Bitcoin and the future digital economy. Check out the blog at Bitcoinism.liberty.me. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Make sure you check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A prison reform group issued a disturbing new study this week calling conditions in women's correctional facilities deplorably unsexy. The report contends that women's prisons are bleak, dangerous environments with shockingly few soapy showers and erotically charged pillow fights. According to the Prison Justice Initiative, quote, it's a shame that in today's society we still have jails that don't encourage kittenish girl-on-girl -girl exploration. Prison shouldn't be a hotbed of gang violence and drugs. It should be a steamy Shangri-La where caged nymphets discover the sexuality away from the eyes of male society. The investigation revealed living conditions that many are calling cruel and degrading, but not in a fun or kinky way. The study's author argues that incarceration should be about more than just punishment. The purpose of prison isn't just to lock people in a box and forget about them. It's to provide opportunities for naughty girls to play nice with each other. Next up, a team of jock scientists have reportedly thrown the cure for asthma onto the roof of the lab. We'll talk to the nerds struggling to retrieve it. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves, toll free, 855-450-FREE, that's 855-450-3733. Uh, we'll talk on the way about suicide, it's not a fun topic, but one of those things that eh, every now and then you probably should talk about, uh, because it's actually struck somewhat close to you, Chris Cantwell. Sure has. And uh, we will tell you more about that. Our toll free number again is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us on Skype as well. It's Skype username lrn.fm. Let's go back to your calls and thoughts uh, plus some disturbing Bitcoin news for one operator, a Bitcoin ATM. Uh, but first, we've got Andrew calling from Washington. You're on Free Talk Live, Andrew. Hey, gentlemen. How's it going today? What's on your I'm mind? I'm glad you asked, Andrew. I'm. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, um, the uh, I I called in a couple weeks ago about the topic of uh, the police shooting here in Pasco. Yeah, apparently there's been protesting. Uh, can you recap and, real, real brief? This was the guy with the rocks, right? That was throwing rocks. Yeah, gentleman with his rocks, and he started. He was running away from the cops, and they said he was getting ready to throw some more rocks at him. Uh, shot him in the so back, they, though. Yeah. They. Sh I don't think they shot him in the back. Uh, he was facing them. Uh, it looked like in the video. Yeah, in the video, it looked oh, like he was getting ready to throw some more rocks. No, so, I released I uh, the YouTube clip of that segment. It's titled Rocks vs. Bullets on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what's and, going on? Protests? Yeah, they're protesting it. And some of the family members are uh, coming out in protest of it, too, and uh, saying they want, you know, the funny part is, is they want to, they're trying to 
partition Eric Holder, who's leaving the White House to well, to have an en- interjunct and do their own personal med- investigation. What are they race but, pimping? Is that the? I there's so I don't know exactly, but Eric Holder's one of the worst people here. I mean, hell, he's the one that's behind the Fast and the Furious, guns going over in New Mexico, killing American citizens. Well, so, people I mean, don't know what the hell to do. I mean, th- when people are yeah. frustrated by the police killing folks unnecessarily, and I, I think that it was unnecessary to shoot this man to death over throwing the rocks. There were multiple opportunities that the police had to approach that situation in a different way, and the video footage uh, made it pretty clear that there was one officer who was literally directly next to this man who could have easily, had he had the proper training, uh, done some sort of a takedown move on this guy and, and taken him out. Um, you know, oh, not yeah. taking his life, but taking him out of commission for that moment. Um, but they didn't I, have. I, I don't think they should have done what they did. But when people get frustrated by the police, they're also frustrated by the fact that there's no real solution present. You know, there's over all these years we've been talking about police abuse and violence uh, by the police on Free Talk Live. Every now and then you'll hear something about, well, we've formed a police uh, observation squad or whatever they call it, the uh, the committee that they uh, task force uh, where they'll bring, you know, some guy from the police department, some guy from, uh, you know, an interest group, a citizen interest group, an attorney. You know, they'll bring in some people that supposedly have some sway in the community and then they'll sit them all on a panel together and they'll oversee the police and they'll have investigative powers in some cases and this and that. And they, they try to make it sound like they're doing something to really rein the police in. But ultimately, it never results in any significant changes to the way things operate. They end up being sort of a yes-man group for the police in a lot of cases. Or they just become nothing more than a neutered uh, advisory panel that really can't do anything. What they need to do is they need to bring yeah. in uh, departments from, say, out of state. And then when they find uh, stuff wrong... They can just they they can confiscate the equipment from the police department that they found that has done something you wrong. You mean other departments? Other departments confiscate? around the country, and then they can they can confiscate all the equipment and stuff like, like asset that. Like asset forfeiture. Like from a- the asset forfeiture. The crap the police do, do to the citizens every day. The police should be able to do to the police. Yeah, that I would don't change. think the police are going to solve the problem. At, at that point, they'd be cannibalizing each other. I could just imagine that. Just you just <laughs> have gang warfare in the streets. The boys <laughs> in blue shooting at each other. Yeah, I'd rather have them shooting at each other than shooting at uh, at innocent people. But people are frustrated. They've, so- ki- they've killed uh, in the United States. They've killed three people every single day since uh, twenty uh, the beginning of twenty fifteen. In Germany last year, they killed one person. I mean, we know that the government doesn't solve problems, right? I mean, when we on yeah. this program, we are aware that government makes things worse. Any problem they try to solve usually was created by them in the first place, and whatever it is that they try to do to solve the problem usually makes the and, you know aggravates whatever that problem is and makes it worse. So like the war on drugs, exactly. now there's more drugs uh, and there's worse drugs and more violence. So you know no. there's plenty of examples of this. But you can't blame people for not knowing what the hell to do. The average person doesn't know this about the government, so their response is, well, these cops are bad. Let's call more cops. Eric Holder, come help us. You I know? do blame them. I yeah. do blame them. This is an obvious enough pattern if you bother to take a look at it, ladies and gentlemen, and they just don't. They just, there's there's a thing in criminal law known as criminal negligence, right? Like, if you negligently put people's lives in danger, you can mm-hmm. be prosecuted for that. And I, and I really, I'm getting to a point where I just feel that way about the vast majority of humanity. That they are criminally negligent? Yes. So, Andrew, what do you think here? What's going to happen? Uh, you know, and especially when you bring the federal government into play, uh, things can either go worse or they can get better. So it all depends. But yep. I also had another uh, topic, if that's okay, to bring up real Briefly, quick. go ahead. Uh, you know how everyone's uh, uh, panicking about the epidemic with the measles from uh, Disneyland? No, I don't know anyone who's in a panic about that. Oh, well. Okay. But I certainly but heard about people it. Are up, people are up in arms and saying, oh, you need to vaccinate people and you can't bring your kids if they're not vaccinated. Unfortunately, Washington State Legislative is becoming very pain in the butt. And they're trying to push something through the, our, our House and Senate that states that parents no longer have the right to choose whether or not they want to have their kids vaccinated. Mm. There will be one or two exemptions 
uh, religious right. And I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but that's another form of government trying to control your lives. The religious, the religious exemption basically exempts anybody who wants to be exempted because all you have to do is go join some church on the, the internet. Um, some, well, yeah, but you no, you can go and join some church on the internet and say that that you know gives you a religious exemption for that. Vaccinations. Sure, but atheists tend to have a problem joining churches. That's all. Well, they can they'll go ahead and get themselves a vaccination, or they can join whatever right. church on the internet. Yeah, I mean, it basically can put a person in a position where they have to lie. But if you're if you're that afraid of vaccines, like we said to a caller earlier, there's no uh, there's no foul in lying to someone who's victimizing sure. you. So, I mean, you have that option. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a difficult thing to put a person in that position. I I hope that there's a lot of people out there who don't feel comfortable lying. And certainly there's a lot of people out there who are all too comfortable lying. But Well, I'd recommend checking out the Free State Project at freestateproject.org and making plans to move to New Hampshire where you can actually stand for more freedom to choose with other people who care about that kind of thing. I just don't see things going in the right direction in other places. Uh, but I wish you the best, and thank well, you for the call, Andrew. Thank, I could just imagine you, somebody gentlemen. trying to push that through in the New Hampshire legislature. It would get shouted down so fast they oh, yeah. wouldn't have a shot. Let's go to Dave in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dave. Dave in New Hampshire. Here, I'm here. Trust me. Here you are. Okay? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the uh, thing I wanted to uh, update you on, um, uh, are you familiar with Jen Coffey, the Free Stater legislator? She is one of many uh, Free State Project participants, early movers who have been elected to the state house. I believe she's been in for what? Is this her third term now? I didn't know she was still in. I thought she was only in for two or four oh, years. Oh, maybe she's not like in anymore. Right. I don't. I don't know. I thought she was still there, but you you could be right about that. She was either elected in 06 or I think it was 08. She was elected. I think she was in for either two or four years. Okay. Um, however, she was re-diagnosed with cancer a couple years ago, I think, or maybe yeah. about a year ago. Uh, she'd had it before, um, got over it, moved to New Hampshire, and then got it again. Um, and I uh, wanted to update you. I guess she, she posted a message a couple of uh, days ago that her, I guess her last hope of a cure has failed. Um, mm. And he had to call 911 today, I think, or yesterday. Hold that thought, Dave. We'll come back with you here in a moment. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. 855-450-3733. Yeah, it's never fun uh, when people come down with life-threatening illnesses. 855-450-FREE. But the Free State Project, it's a big movement, and eventually people are going to uh, pass away. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. dog away from me. PD stopped eating. All his hair fell out. Mounds and mounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. Bad breath and bad gas. Chew himself raw. Sticky, gooey, smelly. She scratched incessantly. At least $5,000 in vet bill. And all it took was one container of Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859 428 The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. Adding Dynavite to their diet has every single dog in my kennel looking better than they have ever looked. The shedding has stopped and the itching has stopped. Tons of energy, no more bad smell. She has gotten this puppy look. Her coat has sheen. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. My vet was completely blown away. Dynavite's the bomb. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com. 
or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. Woo! That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Join us here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Well, we said we were going to talk about suicide, but uh, Dave managed to bring us down first by talking about cancer. Dave in New Hampshire is back with us here on Free Talk Live. It's never- <laughs> No, I'm it's, sorry. It's That's not, terrible. No, it's it's definitely not funny. It's uh, it's sad. I mean, you know, people come down with terrifying, you know, horrible, debilitating diseases. And uh, in the case that you were talking about, Jen Coffey, who's an early mover for the Free State Project, who was elected as a state rep, she actually uh, had beaten back some cancer, and then yeah. apparently it came back as uh, cancer is wont to do in some people's bodies, and. And she has announced now that it is uh, it's a done deal that there is no can- no chance for a cure at at this point. And Dave, that is uh, what you were calling in tonight about. Was there another aspect you wanted to focus on, like you know how she's been getting support from the Liberty community up here? Yeah, Chris, Chris that was about the most inappropriate laughter session I've ever heard. It was supposed to I be. Think Jen, I I think Jen would uh, would not uh, freak out. She's pretty non uh, non PC, and she's taking it. Um, she's taking it with a pretty, um, uh, I don't know if, uh, I think a good sense of humor might be the right word. You might as um, well. Definitely. I mean, what, 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 right. why bother getting all upset about it? It's not no. like you can control it. It's got to be the scariest thing. It's the scariest thing in your life, right? The end of your life. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think everybody's afraid of that. So I guess it just depends on whether or not you've come to grips with that. And I think a lot of people who are in that circumstance, they've come to grips with that. And so maybe it's not so scary anymore. Maybe it's just inevitable. Yeah, she's right. I think the best term for it is she's running a fighting retreat. She's, she says she's going to keep doing a radio show. She has either a radio show that she does herself or that she substitutes on. Uh, she was able to blog from her... Uh, I guess from the emergency room or something along Jeez. those lines. She posted the blog uh, after she had to call 911. I guess she had been going into spasms. She's been at least off and on in a wheelchair. You know, so we're not talking about an old person. She's about no. my age. Yeah, maybe in her 40s. Um, she was a working EMT yeah. just a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, she was the one responsible for getting the uh, switchblade ban lifted. So That's that correct. legal in New Hampshire now. 
Um, Which was like Dolphins. the very first big success story, the big le- big legislative uh, success story here in New Hampshire. It was all thanks to uh, to Jen Coffey. Actually, her, that her big success came about three years after the bit first big success, which was the uh, Homeschooler Paperwork Reduction Act that came in, I think, 2006. But, um, but yeah, yeah but let me tell you, Dave, me. if you're out there touting success stories, a Paperwork Reduction Act just doesn't have the same ring to it as, you can carry any knife you want in New Hampshire now, thanks to this lady. So I'm sorry, that's yeah. much bigger than some homeschool paperwork. Oh, I tell you, as a homeschooling, I, it is, it, I like it. I think it. it is bigger, but... But homeschooling does go to the root of all our problems to a certain extent. A- anyway, the the um, tell that to someone who's been arrested for having a knife. And tell yeah. that to somebody who's been arrested for homeschooling their kids. Yeah, that doesn't. I don't think that's happened in New Hampshire that I know of. I have not seen a ton of support type activity for her. There's some. Uh, she's got a website. I couldn't find much in the way of donation information on. She it, had a fundraiser website. going once. I gave her some money at that uh, at that point. I don't. It was like oh, within the kid. last year. I can't tell you if it's you're, still online. You're one, you're one of the more generous activists, I tell you. Uh, but her website well, I've, is, I've gotten the impression there's quite a bit of support within the uh, the Liberty community for Gen Coffee. I'm just saying I haven't seen that much of it yet. Um, the the uh, where her website is gencoffee.com, I think. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I, you know, at the same time, you know, maybe one of the reasons you haven't seen it is it's probably hard for somebody to get out there and self-promote themselves. Like, hey, I've got cancer. Here's my uh, con- contribution fund. That just doesn't seem like you know the average person is going to be willing to do something yeah. self-promotional. It's difficult like to that. market that one in that way. Hence this call. Yeah. Hence this call. Yes. Thanks, Dave, for Thanks the call for tonight. It, Dave. Appreciate it. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. There were a number of people who helped out, Jen, uh, as well as uh, Chris Lopez, who and ended up falling off of a, de- uh, a uh, deck, like a deck kind of fell underneath her, kind yeah. of crumbled or something like that, and uh, she broke her back. And people, Paralyzed. people stepped up, man. People within the community stepped up to help that lady. And... She's doing. All, she's been doing much better now, from what I can tell. Well, she's in a wheelchair. Still in a wheelchair. Yeah, so. she's got a job, and you know, is able to make ends meet. So yeah, there you go. Suicide. Uh, Chris Cantwell. It's always an option, especially if you have terminal illness. Oh God. Uh, but the person who committed suicide that you didn't know, but was apparently a listener of yours, uh, a fan of ChristopherCantwell.com. Uh, he killed himself. Yeah, I got contacted by uh, the fiance of a gentleman who had a run-in with law enforcement. And to, to qu- clarify here, I don't know how much, if anything, my content had to do with this. I just know that I paint a very dark picture of the world. I sort of take my listeners and readers on a bit of an emotional roller coaster. And perhaps if you have some stuff going on already, that might not be the healthiest of things. Okay. Um, but there was a, I got contacted by this woman um, not so long after this man had taken his own life, and she said that I had, quote, deeply influenced him. And it certainly weighed on my conscience because I know that I, I take my re- readers and listeners on a little bit of a ride. And I look at the gentleman's Facebook page, and I'm going to leave his name out, but... He says, I have falsified legal IDs for others. I have grown magic mushrooms and sold them. I have grown and sold cannabis in states it is, quote, illegal to do so, even such, uh, even if such is lawful. I encourage rebellion and terrorist actions against the American government and those who carry out its unlawful laws. I am, by definition, a domestic terrorist. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then— And the police were after him, You do you think, because of those posts? So the next day— We've got a post from his local police department. Really? And this police department says uh, on February 3rd, approximately 1.49 p.m., this police department was dispatched to a residence at this place. It was reported that a male and female both may have committed suicide as both had been sending messages to family members. Family members were unable to make contact with anyone at the residence and contacted the police. Upon arrival at the residence, officers made contact with the female— Uh, who went back inside the residence. A short time later, the female appeared again and came outside the residence and spoke to officers. She was not allowed to return to the residence and was taken away from the area. It was learned that the male in the residence may have a weapon and explosives. An officer reported seeing a male inside the residence with a shotgun. Based on the information received, surrounding residents were immediately evacuated from their homes. An emergency response team was called to the scene. Blackhawk School, I shouldn't have said that, this school was contacted and put on lockdown. (laughs) 
<laughs> a short time later, an officers observed a male subject appear at the back door of the residence with a shotgun. Oh, Moments boy. later, officers heard a gunshot. The subject was found deceased inside from a self-inflicted gunshot the, the, Just to be clear, the police posted this on the guy's Facebook page? The police posted it to their Facebook page, oh, and one theirs. of his friends shared the post to, to his, his timeline. Okay, That's how it. I'm finding it. Got it. Um, and this was a, a listener of yours, a yeah, fan and, of Christopher Campbell. The reason it's relevant to what I'm to to my world, I, I I had spoken to this guy before. He was my Facebook friend. He was in the first Libertarian Brutalism Facebook group, which was sub, subsequently banned. You guys are familiar with a lot of the controversy surrounding my website, uh, using force against law enforcement, that sort of thing. Um, and so this became an issue that sort of weighed pretty heavily on my shoulders, not knowing what, if any, role my influence on this guy may have had. Let's talk about it coming up here uh, in a moment. You are welcome to share your thoughts, your observations here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And especially if you've been suicidal, you want to comment, it's Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of FreedomsPhoenix.com get every day. FreedomsPhoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. 
Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll free and bring up whatever you'd like at 855 450 free. 855 450 3733. It's kind of the, uh, the after school special here of uh, Free Talk Live. We're talking about <laughs> suicide. Not really a fun topic to discuss, especially when it actually happens uh, to somebody that you at least had some tangential connection to. Chris Cantwell, one of your uh, fans over at ChristopherCantwell.com, uh, perhaps a listener of some garbage podcast. Yeah has committed suicide and it was in a situation with the police involved we'll continue with the the, the story here in a moment but i want to let you know how to get a free ticket to the upcoming new hampshire liberty forum now there are certain qualifications that you have to have in order to get this ticket qualification number one is you cannot live in new hampshire uh, and number two is that you cannot be a Free State Project participant. So if you're on the fence about the Free State Project or just curious about the Free State Project and the movement of liberty-minded people converging in New Hampshire to get active for freedom in our lifetime, then all you have to do to get a free ticket to the upcoming Liberty Forum, which is March 5th through the 8th in Manchester, New Hampshire, is email me at ian at freetalklive.com and I will uh, then tell me what you you know what name you want on the ticket and also you have to pledge that you will attend the FSP question session during Liberty Forum it's on the Saturday uh, that's Saturday March 7th it's 12:30 right in the middle of the day plenty of time to sleep in if you're partying on Friday night uh, you just get up in time for the FSP questions uh, session you attend that session and you have completed your obligation to get the free ticket it's that simple so if you're willing to make that commitment just email Email me at ian at freetalklive.com, and I'll get you hooked up with your ticket. If you don't meet those qualifications, you just want to buy a ticket, you can always go to nhlibertyforum.com to get them there. So, Chris, you were given a heads up by the girlfriend, uh, was it? The fiancé, yeah. fiancé of one of your listeners uh, that he had committed suicide in a situation involving the police where apparently they had been called ostensibly in regards to some sort of domestic dispute, perhaps, and yeah, I mean, he had the day before apparently made some statements on Facebook that might attract the attention of law enforcement, calling himself a domestic terrorist, saying that he advocates for, for violence, terrorism. Uh, terrorist attacks against the government, that sort of thing. Which you don't even advocate for necessarily. I mean, you've taken possession, positions on, on the air and on your website that sort of relish when the police are uh, executed. Yeah. But you've never actually advocated it. And in fact, you've said that it's not practical to do it. Yeah, I did the the sort of the narrative that I've taken is that yes, at some point I don't believe that politics are going to solve our problems. I don't think that technology is going to outpace the state. I don't think that people are going to give up power voluntarily. I do believe that there's going to have to be some sort of violent conflict at some point. And I've got an article on my website titled Violently Overthrow the Government, which sort of explains a situation where there's a society where X number of people in the society say, I'd rather shoot back than get arrested. Okay. And that's a, an idea that I've outlined. I'm frankly starting to reconsider some of those things with the time that we're spending in Concord. It's an interesting experience for mm -hmm. me that I'm going and I'm sitting down with a legislator. I have a gun on my hip and this guy's actually listening to what I have to say. It's an odd experience. Yeah. I come from a place where the Republican Party wants to take your guns away. So that's kind of a scary situation to be in. And, you you know, I read things from the Founding Fathers, right? You know, the Founding Fathers of the United States, you know, if they, the only reason you'll need the Second Amendment is if they try to take it away, right? And mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I'm we, we interviewed a gal named Erica Chenoweth, who's a professor uh, who wrote a book called uh, uh, Civil Resistance Works or something like that. Kay. Ian, could you look it up so I that will. we um, get the, the exact right title? But in it, um, what she did is she outlined that uh, right now, currently with the way things are, that, well, actually, they took uh, the, the time frame between 1900 and 2000, that 100 years, and they looked at 
civil disobedience, uh, not civil disobedience necessarily, sort of uh, civil resistance. The book is called Why Civil Resistance Works. Civil resistance versus uh, sort of armed uh, resistance. And they found civil resistance to be twice as effective. And it was becoming more effective, not less effective, than armed resistance. And I would say that probably the reason is, is you just can't fight the government. Um, like, they can't make you do anything you don't want to do. And when they could drop a bomb on you, when they have a, remo- a robot p- cop at this at some point, it's just not going to make a difference. Which is well, apparently coming soon. The yeah. the problem with that, and I've gone over this with Adam before, is that Adam Kokesh, is that what they're trying to do in these civil resistance movements is nothing to do with getting rid of a government. You're not talking about getting rid of the authority of the state. Sure, in a lot of cases the that government. they're talking about, there they're actually expanding the power of the state. These are left-wing movements that are actually trying to get a bigger government. And sure enough, if enough people say, hey, government, grow... It's more than happy to do so, yeah. right? So that's that's the problem with that thing. And we, we you're talking about a situation where the abolition of the state. Now, we don't really have on record a situation where that's ever happened. So the entire thing is theory. And I would also remind the folks who listen to me, listen to this program, listen, read ChristopherCantwell.com. It's an entertainment website. Okay, Mm -hmm. it's represented by a cartoon character. And even if (laughs) even if the stuff on there is dead on right, you shouldn't be putting your life in the hands of some blogger that you've met on Facebook. It's a crazy, irresponsible thing to do for you to put that responsibility on me. So if you're out there thinking of doing anything that's going to get you killed or spend the rest of your life in prison, you had better make that decision for yourself and not say, I saw it on ChristopherCantwell.com and then go out and get do something crazy. Well, to the guy's credit, at least he didn't shoot at anybody else. Well, uh, right, he didn't do that. Well, um, and then that's the other thing is then I talk about this and I've got commenters who are like, he should have taken out the cops with him. And if he's going to go out, what? and I'm like, look, don't get me wrong. My shocking, uh, my shock jock wants to go on that level and say, well, why wow, should have blow And I'm like, no, this is serious. You know, I talked to this guy and he's dead. And I'm terrified of people. Uh, I, I can't imagine that there wasn't some issues already going on there, right? But oh, like sure. I said, I paint a very dark picture, and I take my listeners on an emotional roller coaster. The last episode of Some Garbage Podcast starts off with me screaming and yelling really angrily. In the middle of it, we're laughing like crazy, and at the end, the listener is in tears. I'm not screwing around. I'm taking people on an emotional roller coaster, and I'm manipulating their emotions. I'm trying to screw with their heads, okay? And so if you're if you're doing that, and we're talking about about political violence i mean people can get sort of stirred up by that mm. but i do think look the, the the product is enjoyable to a lot of people and it starts a lot of conversation so i'm intent to keep on producing that type of content but i think i might have to every once in a while sort of remind people to keep themselves grounded in reality just go do something else once in a while and if you're feeling get like to you're new gonna- hampshire i mean look that's uh You've already pointed out here, Chris, and not just tonight, but in the past, about how the short, relatively short experience you've had here is starting to change you. Uh, whether it be the state representatives actually treating you like a human being and talking to you, uh, and you know, realizing they're on the same level as you, that level of sort of humility coming from somebody that is a state representative, it's a, that's a shocker. Uh, I also changed when I came here as well. I was uh, I was ready to quit voting and quit working in inside the system and then Dennis Goddard showed me that look things can actually work inside the system in New Hampshire and I had to begrudgingly admit that he was right I remember this process went on on the air where he would call in and yeah. you know keep making points about how New Hampshire was different and then I finally saw what what he was saying you had an experience with the police where they were the reasonable people and in, in, in you know in an argument between you and this local nutcase named Boston Strong and you had a gun on your hip the entire time and they treated you like a gentleman yeah uh, after knowing exactly who I am and sure, knowing about calling the you things by your that first I've talked name. about yeah they yeah. they came and said hey chris and i've never met these guys before and they see me out there with a gun in a yelling match with some uh, with some citizen down the road and they're like oh we're gonna make sure that you have some quality of life in this neighborhood that's unacceptable i was if, like oh my god i thought these guys were gonna kill me if you're in new hampshire and the police come to your house you don't pick up a shotgun and put it in your mouth you pick up a, f- a telephone and call pork 411 or dial keen 411 or grab your two-way radio your, if your camera in yeah and well, uh you know call for back 
backup. Call for your friends. People in the liberty movement are so alone all over the place. I don't blame them for getting crazy out in the middle of nowhere or even in the middle of a city where they might as well be in the middle of nowhere because they're surrounded by no one who can uh, empathize with them. feel isolated. We'll come back with more. Your thoughts are welcome. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Mark, it sounds like you wanted to get something in. Stand by. Uh, We'll get to that here in a moment. And your thoughts are certainly welcome if you'd like to throw in here in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are imminent. They say life is about choices. So let me introduce you to one of the best choices you can make in life. Granger Choice. The Granger Choice product line has just about everything we need to keep this place running. From batteries to V-belts, safety to sump pumps, and with Granger Choice, we can trust that every product is dependable and cost-effective. When it comes to making life choices, here's a great one. Granger Choice. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com slash choice or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial toll-free here and get in in the remaining moments tonight. If you don't make it in tonight, 
We're back tomorrow night, every single night, seven nights a week, live, 7 to 10 at night Eastern Time. If you're not listening to us live, you're listening via podcast, archive, or on a radio station that's delayed broadcasting us, and you want to take part in the show, just make sure you call in during those live hours, and then you can listen to yourself later on. Uh, With you in studio tonight, it's me, Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. We're going to go to your calls and thoughts, but Mark, I know you wanted to weigh in on the discussion about suicide. I, I, I know you didn't have enough time in the last segment. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I think that, can't, well, I don't think you're responsible for the, what this guy did, um, but I would say that what you're experiencing is a sort of a, a realization of the power of what we do. Um, you're a convincing guy, right? Like, you're smart, and people can tell it, uh, especially when they're reading your articles. I mean, they're well-written and well-done over there at ChristopherCantwell.com. Um and so when you write stuff and people read it, maybe somebody who's not entirely all put together mentally, um, you know, it's going to have some effect on them. You need to, well, I guess you're, you're coming to the realization that there is incredible power as a media personality. Yeah, it is. And I mean, it'd be foolish of me to, I, like, what am I doing if I don't think I have some influence over the people who are reading my content, right? And I, and I do... I want people to think about the topics that I'm bringing up, okay? And I and I'm and I'm dead serious about that. And I and I don't want these uh, subjects like use of force taken off the table. I felt at some point like they were off the table, and I meant to put them back on the table. And I think I've succeeded. But it's like if you're getting to a point, ladies and gentlemen, if you're if you're following me and you feel you're in a dark place and you're thinking about doing something that's going to get you hurt, go listen to a couple of back episodes of Peace News Now or something, and mm-hmm. and get your spirits lifted, okay? I don't want. <laughs> I don't want you getting hurt. Let's go to your calls and thoughts here. Oliver Closeoff calling from Chicago. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How are you? <laughs> hey, what's on your mind? <laughs> um, not a whole heck of a lot. I, um, I, I think one of the things that you guys were touching on earlier is working within state government to bring yep. about change. And you guys are seeing a lot of that with the, af- the effort that you guys are putting in. A couple other examples that are like really poignant and important and take note of is, you know, the legalization of pot in states where it wasn't legal and the states basically telling the federal government too bad. Um, What that really shows is that you can I I hate to put it this way because I know there's a lot of like anti-statists or whatever you guys want to call yourselves, but um, you can reinvigorate the republic. I mean, the, the people themselves are not going to go and petition Washington and gather as a group and hang signs and stuff. That's not going to do anything anymore. What what really has to happen is, is the people in the states have to work together to put the chains back on government in order to rein it back in because the people themselves are not going to be able to do it. The states themselves won't do it unless the people get involved in it. Well, we've seen some of that. I mean, it's called nullification and there's... Absolutely. There's examples throughout the entire system. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, but you're right. I mean, the the Tenth Amendment (laughs) Center is, uh, they've been doing a good job of encouraging nullification, more legislation in different states to basically tell the federal government no. One of the classic examples was that in New Hampshire, I think it was in 2006 or 07, they nullified the federal government's real ID provisions, which would have created a national ID card. Now, rumor is that's going to come back around in 2016, and they're going to require a national ID to uh, to do inter to do inter. U.S. traveling uh, as far as like on airplanes and things like that. I don't know how true that will end up being in 2016 because they always end up pushing this stuff back off. But that's one example. Um, Another example is in Utah, there's a campaign to cut off the water supply to the NSA facility uh, because they're running through like a million gallons a day or minute or something ridiculous like that to cool all their spying computers and obviously the environmentalists don't like that very much so a nullification can kind of span across different political boundaries yeah as well. i support this i think it's the most practical uh, sort of steps uh, in th- the direction i want to go um now i would say that the problem that's inherent in it is is that well, cent- gov- power tends to centralize, um, and that's what's going to happen unless people exert a great deal of effort in the other direction. And that's a kind of, you know, the the Benjamin Franklin quote, a republic, madam, if we can keep it. And uh, the Thomas Jefferson quote that the tree of liberty needs to be watered frequently with uh, dead bureaucrats, um, or whatever it was that he said. Uh, the blood of patriots and tyrants. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, I would never suggest anything otherwise, founding fathers wishing to 
murder government agents. Um, but, I mean, you know, you can see that what they're saying is, is that the public has to put a great deal of effort into keeping a government from being tyrannical. And I would say that that's even more true with sort of the, the central government. A absolutely. But no one's ever said it wasn't like that. It's always been a struggle between those being governed and those doing the governing. I mean, by its very nature, government's intention is to grow and gain more control. Yep. So it's on the people. And I know everybody wants like a push button solution because we've sat here and done nothing for so long. There is no push button solution. Well, you're it's in Chicago. I mean, we're doing a lot of stuff here in New Hampshire. <laughs> well, I just like to say, I, I, I appreciate that. And I gave you guys a nod to that, but you guys are also realizing by working within the system that's in place that you can bring about fundamental changes within your own states. If everybody starts doing that, that's not going to happen. Country. Everybody's not going to ever do anything well, then uh, together. Then so you done. might as well just cross that one off your list. Um, okay. And you can't get, you can't even get all libertarians to agree to do one thing, let alone everybody who's not a libertarian to do these things. So will, the best thing you can hope for is for a percentage of liberty minded people to get their S together and move to New Hampshire where they can then do the very things you're talking about because yeah, everybody's not going to do those things. Uh, well, hold on. Let me let, let me rebut that. What I've seen over the, the course of the last decade, I'm not saying I don't believe this Free State Project's the best solution going. I do think it is. But what I've seen over the course of the last decade is I've seen a lot of sort of good stuff passing in different places. I think there's a bill in Utah that, that the Utah government has to accept Bitcoin uh, for you know taxes or something. We had that There's here a bill in, like that in New Hampshire. That we had that, that too. But what I'm I'm trying to point out is there's a lot of interesting things going on yeah. all over. What's going on in Illinois? N not much. Okay. Then. Nothing. No. Yeah. We we breed corruption, as yeah. you guys have all seen. Does Utah right have a uh, a influx of liberty activists coming from all around the world? No. No, they don't. I don't. I no. don't think that's. But so I think you can point a lot out of one people thing doing here, a lot of stuff, and you can point yes. out one thing there. Yeah, a lot of one thing here. One New thing Hampshire there. actually has a movement with people who are coming here. So I mean, yeah, you can point out one thing in Utah, but what about the 50 other bills that well, are making things worse? Okay. So let me rebut. Um, I think that this is important to look at. You have to look at both sides. How come Vermont is likely to legalize marijuana right next door to New Hampshire while New Hampshire sits here and misses the opportunity to be essentially the Colorado, the, the marijuana mecca of the East, or at least the uh, the, the New England states? New Hampshire, New, New Vermont's got more hippies. I, mean, I that's yeah, just a fact. That's just, a God, that's just an excuse, Ian. So the fact is, is that New Hampshire you know, has at this point draconian uh, marijuana laws compared yeah. to a lot of places. Um, it's slow to change. That's because true. of its uh, because of its system, Good. it's it's the it's slow to change in a status direction, but it's also slow to change in a non-status. Yeah, that's true. Direction. That's why we need more activists here. Because if you think it's hard to change New Hampshire, try changing Chicago. Try changing <laughs> Illinois. Good luck with that. Uh, what else do you want to share tonight, Oliver? Um, I I think the point that I'm trying to make is you're not going to get everybody to do it, and you may not get every state to do it. You'll you'll get a heck of a lot of people doing it when things get bad enough. When, when point, things really get late. bad enough, you're going to get everybody all of a sudden like, gosh, we need to do something. And by then, it's probably going to be too late. Yeah, exactly. And thank you for the call tonight, Oliver. I appreciate it. And and waiting until things get bad enough, ladies and gentlemen, I would remind you is what happened in Greece. Mm. And what they did in Greece when things got bad enough was elect a communist government. <laughs> things don't have a tendency of getting better, which is something that I have noticed in my study of history around the entire world. Things go downhill, not up. And that's one of the things that it, it it's amazing to watch happen here. It is completely it is completely unique. And we go in there and, and we're seeing a, a bill pass the Senate and be sent back to the Republican controlled house to repeal the requirement for a concealed carry in permit. I mean, this is happening. These things are actually going on there. We go to as many hearings on repealing laws as we do on passing them. And it's something that uh, it's uh, that's you don't entirely see that unique. in other that's places. That's not happening anywhere in the United States. And things are already bad in a lot of places, including Reason.com reporting on a woman who is 90 years old old had the police smash up her house while raiding it for drugs of course they didn't find any drugs uh she declined to be named the raid happened on december 18th as reported by cbsmiami.com she said quote i don't know how the cops got in here the noise woke me up when something said boom like a bomb or something riviera beach police said after evidence of criminal activity they got a search warrant she said quote 
Cops standing over here talking about where's the drugs. I said, what? What drugs? Ain't no drugs in here, she said. After drug-sniffing dogs failed to find anything, the police left. When asked whether they got the wrong address, the department countered that just because the woman didn't know about drugs being sold out of her house <laughs> doesn't mean it didn't happen. Amazing. Yeah, and they just tore the hell out of this poor lady's house and claimed they had not yet, they had not made a mistake. They just, no drugs there, that's all. So, we're out of time. All in a day's work. Yep. See you tomorrow night Protecting online in the meantime. You want to do something, get your butt to New Hampshire and get active for freedom here. We'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. If you're looking for work, you know the math. There are many more applicants than openings, so you need to stand out, not blend into the blah, blah, blah your interviewer is hearing from your competition. Here's a tip. In your interview, you will be judged more by the questions you ask than the answers you give. Yes, do anticipate the obvious job interview questions and prepare concise, insightful, glass half full sounding responses. And you should interview your interviewer. Seem genuinely curious about what will help get results. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. You want to cut through the clutter. For more tips for job job seekers, and making all the other conversations you have more productive, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Aren't you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Well, stop using their money. There's an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. And by using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Gold is trading at $1,208, silver at $16.48, and Bitcoin is trading around $244. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from CoinArch, offering innovative trading solutions for Bitcoin. Do more than just buy and sell Bitcoin. Use long and short positions to profit in rising and falling markets, and to boost your returns through leverage. Learn more at CoinArch.com. Today's broadcast is also brought to you by Brave New Books. Your source for One World Way, Tangy Tangerine, and Clearly Filtered Fluoride Filters. Located in Austin, Texas at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. In the news, after a federal judge in Texas issued a temporary court order on President Obama's executive actions on immigration, the White House announced a delay on the plan. U.S. District Judge Andrew Hainan in Brownsville, Texas, stated he took the decision based on calls from 26 states who say the president overstepped his authority. Following the announcement, President Obama said he disagreed with the judge's decision and declared that the law and history would be on his side. An officer with the Houston, Texas Police Department has been charged with theft after being arrested for stealing $60 worth of ammunition. Rookie officer Stephen Sargent was arrested at an Academy Sports and Outdoor store on Monday afternoon. A Houston Police Department spokesman said Sargent had only been on the force for a couple of months and was still listed as a probationary officer. Allegations of organizing sex rings continue to haunt Dominique Strauss-Kahn, former chief of the International Monetary Fund. Strauss-Kahn's team is attempting to get the charges dismissed based on a lack of evidence. Magistrates have been investigating Strauss-Kahn in response to claims that he was behind a number of parties that involved prostitutes from 2008 to 2011. The magistrates argue the charge for pimping is justified because Strauss-Kahn planned the parties and knew the women were prostitutes. 
The 65-year-old former chief says the parties were gatherings of like-minded swingers. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. With civil unrest occurring all across the country, being food secure has never been more important. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 to learn more about food security in a time of crisis. Support also comes from My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. More than 10,500 civilians were killed or wounded in the Afghanistan conflict in 2014. That word Wednesday from the United Nations. The number, the highest since the U.N. began tracking casualties in 2009, indicates a 22% rise in total casualties from 2013, as Afghan security forces took full control of the country's security. According to the Los Angeles Times, the report also illustrates the growing toll of the conflict on women and children. A new study suggests that mindfulness meditation practice may help older people who have trouble sleeping. Researchers at the University of Southern California, Los Angeles, examined 49 people who were at least 55 years old and suffered from moderately disturbed sleep. They split the participants into two groups. One underwent six weekly two-hour sessions of a course in mindfulness awareness practices for daily living, and the other attended six weeks of a sleep hygiene and education course. The group that learned mindfulness meditation practices improved at a higher rate than the sleep hygiene group. David Black, the study's lead author, stated that individuals are more likely to benefit from a meditation course with an experienced teacher. This edition of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Silver Botanicals, producing innovative, all-natural, high-quality colloidal silver and gold personal care products. Experience the power of colloidal silver with their Silver Shield deodorant and Silver Tongue Oral Disinfectant. Visit SilverBotanicals.com for more information or buy their products at Brave New Books. Support for the Liberty Beat also comes from Justice Ranveer's Bitcoinism.liberty.me. Thoughts on Bitcoin and the future digital economy. Check out the blog at Bitcoinism.liberty.me. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, February 18th, 2015. Make sure you check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A new report by the Department of Health and Human Services has found that the average male is 4,000% less effective in fights than he imagines, casting powerful doubts on many men's claims that they could take someone out in two seconds or smash a guy's face in with their fist. On average, men describing hypothetical fights overestimated their level of combat skill by a factor of 40, with 80% of males incorrectly predicting they could mess a guy up real bad with one solid punch to the jaw. During actual physical altercations, However, these men were statistically more likely to end up hurting themselves or, most commonly, trying to diffuse the tension by nervously saying, hey man, let's all just calm down, okay, before any fighting even came to pass. Researchers discovered that men were significantly weaker than they verbally indicated while chatting with friends in bars and locker rooms, and that men who were 90% sure they could tear someone a new asshole tended to succeed in fewer than 1 in 10 fights. This is the Onion News Network.